talk, say talk, over sports, we talk, we talk all sports, the main, we talk man, we talk sports, we love them all teams, all fans, if you take perspective, you just have Celtics, Knicks, Pacers, get out of here. Hawks, Nets, Lakers, get out of here. Ain't no room for the fakers, get out of here. Rest in peace to the haters, get out of here. Celtics, Knicks, Pacers, get out of here. Hawks, Nets, Lakers, get out of here. Ain't no room for the fakers, get out of here. Rest in peace to the haters, get out of here. Hero for three, who on D? Buckets get buckets, bam on the rear. Laced up, running through your playoff tree. You say we going down, we'll see. What's up, what's up? Sorry for being late. Y'all in the mask pouring down like crazy out here, man. It is crazy. Oh, did it? It is crazy up out in here in, in Georgia. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Salute, 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 salute. Again, sorry for being late, man. But uh, you know, family come first. Family come first. Salute everybody. What's up, everybody that's in the chat? Y'all know what it is, man. What's happening? What's going on? Let me Pull this thing up here. Get this thing going. Uh, man, YouTube, YouTube really was tripping earlier, man. I ain't lying. You, YouTube was tripping. They call itself. They call itself shutting down for a minute. I want. I want to know what was that about. I, I really would like to know what that was about, man. Shutting down and stuff. Salute, man. Uh, not much, not exactly. much. Let's see another day, man. YouTube, so yes, also sir, YouTube yes. closed down today. Yeah, man. Yeah, couldn't get on. Wow. Uh, a lot of people couldn't do the live streams. It, it was about probably for about twenty minutes. Okay. They on they on some other type mess, man. Real talk. They they on some other type mess. I salute to you, Daryl. Salute Neil. Salute Rhonda. Everybody, salute, salute. Yes, sir. Lil Tay, Tamar, <laughs> Daniel. Yeah, man, then this point, man. Tom. What's Salute up? What's up, Lucy? What's Salute, up, Lucy? Salute, Lucy. Salute, Lucy. Man, this point like crazy, damn, yeah, man. And you know what that driving. I don't know if y'all ever drove in Atlanta, boy. You don't want to drive when it's raining like that. It's, it's boy, just like worst. Miami. Driving in Atlanta yes, that's just the like worst. Miami. Yeah, that's the worst. That's the worst traffic ever, man. Uh, is everything pulled up? You can see everything, nephew? Yeah, yeah, I can see everything. I can see the the game cast. Yep, I can see. Okay, it. I'm gonna go ahead and let you take over. I'm gonna finish doing this, guys. Go ahead and handle Got it. You. Salute, D Master. Salute, chat. Salute, D Master. You in Miami, Lucy? No, I'm in Orlando. Okay. But I live in Miami. Trust me, driving in Atlanta is just like driving in Miami. <laughs> yeah. No doubt. Hey, salute to everybody in the chat, man. Appreciate y'all for being here. Play by play, Mavs Heat. You know, we got Luca Kyrie in the building. They've been playing great basketball. So Miami's going to have to dig deep to get this W. Draven, salute to you. Um, it's going to be it's gonna be a good game. Uh, salute to Marcus. You say Drew Holiday just got 135 for four years. Hey, it's getting old, but, I mean, okay. hey, man, <laughs> that's going to be a Boston problem soon. Before he's even played a playoff game for you? All right. Yeah, hey, hey. Brave, but hey. <laughs> Yeah, they. I think Boston got his bird rights from the trade with with. I don't know. I because they gotta have his birds right to sign Brown. Then they gonna have to sign Porzingis maybe. Then White. Then Tatum. Yeah, they still ain't re-signed Tatum. <laughs> yeah. So let's oh, see, man. They just them and the Lakers, man. They, well, them Lakers and and Golden State. They just throw away money, man. Like literally. <clears throat> but. Go, with Golden State, they're more concerned with re-signing their core than anything. But with yeah. Lakers and Golden, uh, Lakers and Boston, they they just seem to be throwing money away, man. Yo, and a shout out to Daniel. 
a member for three months, you say it's going to be a tough game. Oh, yeah, no doubt. No doubt. You know what I mean? Uh, Mavs got something to play for. They're trying to play for positioning. They still got an outside shot at the four seed. Um, and the Clippers resting pretty much everybody tonight except Russ and some other guys. So, um, yeah, they definitely going to be playing hard, and we can't be playing stupid, you know? We we got to gear it up. Jimmy, you know, Jimmy got to gear it up. Bam got to gear it up. Yeah. Exactly, Marcus. That's my point, man. Because <laughs> they have to sign Tatum. So where they where they getting this money from? After after they just re oh yeah after they just signed Drew Holiday or extended Drew Holiday, like. And you got Jalen uh, uh, Jalen Brown's contract to worry about. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Man. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in the EA Draven. As uh, we we getting ready to get to the to the center circle here for the jump ball. We got Tyler, Caleb, Jimmy Jovic, Bam. For Miami, for uh, Dallas, is going to be Luca, Kyrie, Gafford, PJ, and who else they got in their starting lineup? I know Josh Green hurt. Oh, I think it's uh, Derek Jones, the former Miami Heat. Yep. It's going to be Derrick Jones Jr. starting off for, for Dallas. Guaranteed 30 for Luka. We'll see. We'll see, Andre. Game about to tip off right now. We'll see. As we got, it's going to be Bam versus Gafford in this jump ball. And Bam, don't act like you ain't been dominating Gafford his whole career. And all of a sudden, he's in Dallas. You act like you don't know what to do. Come on, let's get it, Bam. And Dallas, they're going to try to do the same thing they did last game. They load up in the paint, pack the paint. And we got to have a counter for that. We got to have a counter for that. Ball in the air. And Dallas controls it. Goes off to Derrick Jones Jr. He gives it to Luka. And Luka got the ball. He's being guarded by Jimmy right now. Luka picks up his dribble. He throws it down to Derrick Jones Jr. He finds PJ. PJ to Kyrie. Kyrie guarded by Caleb. Kyrie with a jab into a crossover. Floater. No good. And Bam gets the rebound. He gets hit in the face, and they're going to call a foul right there. That's an early foul right there for Kyrie. Bam gets hit in the face. Might have got grazed in the eye a little bit, but he looks to be all right. Look at the replay here. Yep. Yep, man. That's a thumb to the eye right there. That, that could really affect your vision, man. Bam looks to be okay. That's Miami Heat's going to get a possession right now. It's going to be Bam bringing it across half court. Bam's looking. He finds Tyler. Tyler curling to the rim. Tyler, he gets fouled. He's going to get two free throws. And that's what you like to see. An aggressive Tyler Hero. You said that you wanted to get more free throw attempts. Prove it. Be aggressive. Don't settle. As Tyler, he's going to get a chance here to get on the board. Two free throws on the way. Tyler knocks down the first free throw, one more on the way. And again, I want to give a shout out to everybody in the building. Hit that like button, share, join, subscribe, show some love. And let's get a heat win tonight. Tyler goes two for two. And here comes Kyrie. Caleb with a little bit of a full court pressure here. You got to be careful doing that against Kyrie. And Kyrie finds Luka. And Luca's in a triple threat. Now he has a live dribble. He's being guarded by Bam. And Luca, he swings it over to Derrick Jones Jr. Derrick Jones Jr. for three. He misses rebound Nico. Jovic coming off a great game against Atlanta. He got the ball, and he's going to look to go right at Kyrie Irving. And Nico with a little turnaround hook shot. No good rebound Gafford. I like that attempt. I wish the floor was just a little bit more spread. As we got uh, PJ, he catches it in the corner. And he goes out of bounds. That's an easy turnover right there. And it's going to be heat ball as we see Bam and PJ colliding a little bit. Little, little Kentucky on Kentucky. I'm sure they'd be playing pickup ball in the summer together or against each other. Salute to you, Shift. We got Bam with the ball at the top. He gives it off to Tyler. And Tyler comes off a Bam screen. Tyler finds Caleb down low. Caleb to Bam. Bam with a little floater. He gets that to go. Bam has a good floater down there. Every time he throws that up, I, I honestly have a good feeling that it's going to go in. Here comes Luca now. 
Luca's probing. He takes a step back three. He knocks it down. Nothing but net. Luca puts Dallas on the board for three here. Miami Heat still ahead 4-3. We're just now underway in the first quarter. Plenty of time. Bam taking the ball across half court. Being guarded by Gafford. Bam gives it off to Jimmy. Jimmy guarded by PJ. And Jimmy, he's the point guard dreams here. Oh, good job by Nico. Nico catches the attacks right away. He gets a strong layup right there. Good job by Jimmy recognizing the mismatch. Don't let Kyrie breathe. If Kyrie thinks that he's going to sit on Nico, attack him. And good layup by – and Luka, he's going to take a deep three. He knocks it down. Luka back-to-back -back three balls. Hey, Luka looks like he's ready to play tonight. Here comes Tyler Hero now being guarded by Derrick Jones. And Tyler Hero attacks. Tyler Hero, he gets a layup to go. Almost carried there. But he did a good job of not touching that ball until the very last second. He avoided the carry. And here comes Luka now being guarded by Jimmy. Luka with a live dribble. Luka. He's going to take another three. Luca, he's short, and he gets the offensive rebound. As you can see right there, Luca honestly just went right for the offensive rebound, and he was able to snatch it from Bam. He ties the ball game up, 8-8, eight, eight, and Luca got all eight points. Bam, he sides up for three. He's off. Rebound Gafford, and here comes Luca. I got no problem with Bam shooting wide open threes. Here comes Luca now, and they're going to call a foul right here. And it just makes it tough to guard. I mean, the guy is trying to. Barrel his way through the lane. And you just call a little ticky tack foul early. And you're already setting the tempo for how we got to guard. Now with Bam switch on Luca, he, he already got an early foul now. Here comes Kyrie with the ball being guarded by Caleb. And Kyrie's looking to see what he got here. He has a live dribble. He went behind the back into a blow by. He misses the layup. And Bam, luckily, the Heat get that possession. I thought it, it squeaked out of bounds, hand and went out of bounds, but Miami's going to have possession here. Tyler Hero with the ball being guarded by Derrick Jones. Derrick Jones putting some pressure on him now. He's a good defender. And Nico finds Bam in the corner. Bam attacks the closeout. He gives it off to Jimmy. Caleb in the corner for three. Caleb lines it up and knocks it down. That's a welcome sight for Heat fans. Caleb knocking down a three ball. He's been struggling. Hopefully that three could catapult him back to where we know he could be. Here comes Luca. Luca tries to dump it down to Gafford. He gives it off to Derrick Jones. Derrick Jones trying to bull his way in. He takes a turnaround jumper. He knocks it down. Unlikely source of offense right there. I'll live with it. If he thinks that he's going to create off the dribble like that, let him think that. Here comes Caleb now. And Caleb, crossover move, goes baseline. Tough layup. He misses it. He gets the putback. Good aggressive move right there by Caleb. He got the last five for Miami, and the Heat's up 13-10. Here comes Luka now. He gets a screen. He got three bodies on him. He turns it over. Jimmy with the steal. He got some numbers here. Nico with the ball. Nico gathers. He finds Caleb. Caleb lines up another three. Caleb short on this one. Tap out, and Caleb gets the steal. Bad play by Luka. Not grabbing the ball. He's trying to play volleyball. And ball's going to stay with Miami off of the deflection. P.J. Washington deflected from Bam. That's a bad job by Luca there. He's trying to play patty cake volleyball. Instead of grabbing the ball, he tried to tap it. And Caleb was right there to get it. And we got an early substitution. It's going to be Maxi Kleber from Germany. He's a stretch big, often injured. But he has some skill. He can stretch the floor, and he can defend a little bit too. He's guarding Bam right now. Bam finds Jovic. Jovic lines up a three, and he's off. Rebound, Luka. Luka's going to take it across half court here. Guarded by Nico now. Luka trying to attack. Good defense. He finds Maxi, Kleber, and Luka gets it back. Pump fake. He moves the defense, and he gets in for a left-hand layup, and he's crying for a foul. And what's crazy is how slow Luka moves, but it actually helps him out. As Nico dumps it down to Bam, and Bam trying to attack Luca right away, and he gets blocked by Maxi Kleber. Ball's gonna stay with the Miami Heat. We got a timeout in the action here. After the break, it's gonna be Heat ball. And look at this replay right here. Luca so slow, but again, he's able to see where the defense is going, and he just goes up and scores. Look at him crying. It's gonna be a tough game, man. You got Luca and Kyrie, man. <laughs> Those guys could create any point in time from anywhere on the floor. Hey, salute to you, uh, Conley. Dev. Vegas Dev. 
Salut, Dev. Salut, Rashad. Salut, Melvin. Salut, Andre. Salute, Melvin. Now, nah, Luca never gonna stop crying to the refs. That's just automatic. He's just gonna, you know what I'm saying? He's just gonna keep doing his thing. That's that's you know, that's how Luca rocks. Yeah, that yeah, that slow movement, it throws you off, bro. Like it's hard to explain, man. But Luca, you know, he definitely mastered it. And I already know it's going to be the same rotations. Uh, you know, the first sub's going to be probably K-Love, Jaime, High Smith. Maybe High Smith before Jaime. Let's see what, what Spo's thinking. Maybe Thomas Bryan comes out of witness protection. Yeah, that's a big maybe. That's, that's, that's a hope and a prayer right there, but... I mean, I don't see why not. Uh, he definitely could help out tonight, especially after all the minutes that Bam played. And, you know, he could definitely help out. And you could give Bam a little bit more rest in this first half and have Bam ready to go for the second half. Because I'm really – because we already played somewhat bad in the third and fourth quarters, especially after having two overtimes and a back-to-back. -back, I'm really concerned about the second half. Let's see. The first half means nothing to me. Yeah. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt. I mean, no doubt. I feel you. Do you think Bam gets caught on the perimeter or is over your 2-3 zone defense? Well, it depends if it's if it's if it's if it's in the corners, maybe, but you know, I mean like most of the time Bam is gonna be down low anchor in the zone down low. Mostly, he gets caught on the perimeter in in man to man situations when we switch. You know what I mean? Ball screens and stuff like that, pick and rolls with the point guard. Bama switch that, or or any ball handler. It could be the wing or whoever it is. Bama switch on the on the man, but zone. Bam's likely to be down there more. And again, but again, all you got to do is attack middle in in the zone, and 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 you got lunch money. So they're showing the top MVP candidates right now. Luca, SGA, Joker, you know, the usual suspects. As Luca has 10, the first 10 points for Dallas, he has 10 out of 12 for Dallas. And we got a baseline out of bounds. And Jimmy cannot control the pass. That's a forced pass. Luca finds PJ, and PJ throws it down, and Dallas goes ahead. As we got Bam with the ball right now, Bam, he's being pressured by Kleber. He gives it off to Caleb, and Caleb has to attack here. He does attack. He finds Jimmy in the corner. Jimmy lines up a three. He knocks it down. He barely moved the net on that shot. Jimmy knocks down a three ball. He's continuing his career high from three-point land. He gives Miami Heat the lead back 16 to 14. Maxi Kleber with the ball, and he finds Kyrie back door, and Kyrie has to give it up to Exum. Exum back to Luca. Luca with a slow drive, kick out to Kyrie, and one more pass to PJ. PJ knocks down the three. He gives Dallas the lead. Good ball movement by Dallas. They had the Heat's defense movement right there. And Bam gives it off to Tyler. Tyler's going to get a screen from Bam. Bam rolls. Tyler keeps it. Tyler pulls up in the mid range. He misses it. And Kyrie's going to get the rebound here. Spo needs subs, man. His team's coming off a back to back, man. You got to use your, your subs as PJ lines up another three. This one, he misses it, and Tyler almost gets poked by Kyrie. The focus right now from the Miami Heat, I'm not liking it too much. We're just down one, but I, I'm not liking the focus. Here comes Tyler. Tyler with the ball. He gives it off to Nico. Nico, one more to Caleb, and Caleb's trying to attack here. He gets hemmed up by Exum. Tyler here with the ball. He's being guarded by Luka. That should be easy work, and Tyler gets fouled by Luka, and he's going to get two free throws. Good job by Tyler right there. Broke Luca down a little bit. And then he hit him with a fake last, last second. Look at this replay. Boom. Attack him. Step back. Nice fake. 
and Luca couldn't help himself. Easy foul call for the ref right there. Two free throws on the way for Tyler. And Tyler knocks down the first free throw, ties the game. He got one more on the way to give the Heat the lead. And Luca got two early fouls, and he and he asked Jay Kidd to keep him in the game. The Miami Heat have to attack Luca and make him compromise the defense. If you're gonna be Olay to avoid the third foul, we're gonna make you pay. Don't let Luca off the hook. Here comes Highsmith. He's checking in the game and he's guarding Luca off the rip. And Luca asks for a couple of screens. He's trying to run, but here comes Bam on a switch. Luca, he throws up a three, he knocks it down. That's bad pick and roll defense on Luca. Bad pick and roll defense right there on Luca. You got to come out a little bit earlier right there if you bam. And Luca, he puts Dallas ahead by 2, 20 to 18. Bam with the ball. Bam's trying to attack. Bam pump fakes. Takes a jumper. He bricks it. Bam's touch around the rim on those shots. Ain't good, man. And Luca, he's going to take another three here. This one's a brick. And Tyler Hero gets the rebound. He's pushing the pace. Oh, he had Caleb. Instead, he takes a pull-up mid-range and he's short. And he's acting for a foul out of matter. Get your ass back. As you had Caleb streaking for a layup and, and, and Luca finds Tim Hardaway. Tim Hardaway to eggs him. He gives it off to Kleber. And Kleber's going to hand it off to Tim Hardaway. And Tim Hardaway, let's see what he does here. And they're going to call a foul here? And uh, Tim Hardaway, he played at Palmetto. As we all know, his dad played for the Miami Heat, Tim Hardaway, senior. And I played against him Hardaway in high school when he played for Palmetto. And obviously, he was a pretty damn good high school player. And Exum, out of control, he still controls the ball some way, somehow. He gathered it. Now he's going to get a wide-open mid-range shot. He bricks it. Offensive rebound. Tim Hardaway shoots the three. He misses it. And there's going to be a loose ball foul on Luka. And that's going to be Luka's third foul. That's going to be Luka's third foul. Salute to you, Thelma. That's going to be Luka's third foul. And come on, J.K., challenge it. Challenge it so you can lose a challenge in the first quarter. Go ahead. Go ahead. Listen to Luca. No, I challenge ain't. it. <laughs> come on, J.K., challenge it. Who the hell Luca think he is? Goddamn buffoon. You clearly fouled Bam. And then you had two. Your coach is going to sub your dumb ass out. You told him no. <laughs> and now you're contesting a rebound with Bam. You fouled him. And now you want him to challenge. <laughs> Oh, sit down, man. Just As we got Jaime Hawkins, he checks in the game. And Jaime, he's going to dump it down to Bam. Bam got a mismatch, but look how that is playing it. They're showing two. You got to move the ball. Jaime got to knock down his three, and he does. In the corner, laces a three ball. He gives the Miami Heat the lead. Jaime has got to knock down those corner threes because the defense is helping off of him right now. Here comes Tim Hardaway. Tim Hardaway finds Kyrie. Heat in the zone right now. So Dallas is going to be patient and try to find that middle. And the Heat. Guard in the middle. Good job. Good adjustment in that zone. But guess what? The corner's open. It's going to be Exum for three, and he knocks it down. Again, you play in that zone. Now you want to shade middle. Guess where it's open? And they killed you from the corner. Here comes Jaime. Jaime's attacking off the bounce. He finds Bam. Bam with a jumper. Bam bricks it. Exum's pushing the pace here. He gives it off to Kyrie. Kyrie pulls up for three, and Kyrie knocks it down. 26-21 lead for Dallas. Timeout Miami. And just offensively, it's just, it's just a problem for the Heat right now early. <laughs> As Jay Kidd, the way he plays Miami, he really packs that paint. You got to knock down perimeter shots. And Bam's not knocking down his, his you know, in-between shots. Yeah, because that is defense not that good. Just keep moving the ball crisply. You know what I mean? Pick and roll, strong dives to the basket, move the defense, get good shots like we saw with Jaime. You know, he was able to get an open corner three. That's what you get. And I don't mind Dante Exum, you know, taking that corner three. I, I don't think he's going to keep hitting those because you got to give something up. If you're going to shade middle in a zone, you already know what you're giving up. So let's see what, what Spo does. I mean, I don't see why we even went zone. I, I, feel, I feel like we were perfectly fine in man-to-man, -man, especially with Luca down now. Uh, so I don't I don't understand what Spoh's doing, his his addiction to this zone. We don't need it. You don't gotta play it. I 
unless he's trying to, you know what I'm saying, like let them rest on defense a little bit because of the back-to-back. -back. But that's why you have substitutions and players with fresh legs that the first half, it should be role player heavy. And then now in the second half, your players, they should have the legs to, to finish it off. But if you pushing them in this first half and running them into the ground by halftime, they're going to be gassed. I mean, you just came off a double overtime game, man. These guys are human. I mean, I, I don't know, man. You don't care. You don't care. Uh, no DeLon care. for Kyrie. Like, you know DeLon could play good defense. He, he gave you a good game last night. No DeLon for Kyrie. It is oh, don't okay. care. <laughs> he no don't Thomas care. Bryant for Bam. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Exactly. And Thomas Bryant could get see for some reason. Thomas Bryant, he just he reads the offense just a little bit better in terms of him attacking for himself. And also, teams aren't game planning for him. Like you see with Bam when Bam touches it. They're showing they're help, you know. Me. What I mean, like they're confusing they're Bam with Thomas Bryant. They're just gonna disrespect him, and that's no. gonna be to our advantage. This poker, no, nah, hmm. nah, nah, not at all. He's just gonna keep, you know. Bam is just, and, and, and we see Bam struggles at the next level. Everybody's mm -hmm. seeing it. He's he's struggling to read doubles, and you know what I mean. So he doesn't have confidence to handle the ball in traffic. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Um. And then that shot. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, boy. It's the same thing with Bam. Shimmy, turn around. Shimmy, turn around. Follow away, follow away. Shimmy, turn around. Follow away, follow away. Yep, Daryl. No Ryan, right, no Brian, no Kane, Orlando, none of that. I'm not even going to lie. When Bam does them turn around, uh, fall away, most of the time they go in. So I prefer that rather than his turn around jump, like up jump. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> Especially when he has that dream shake. That shit is damn near ninety percent of the time going in. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if he just goes without waiting for doubles mm -hmm. to come, he'll have that more yeah, often. Exactly. As we're back in the action and Patty Mills checks in being oh, wow. ice cold <laughs> after the long right gave you a good game. Patty Mills, that's what you're saying? Yep, uh, Patty Mills. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. And here yeah. comes Jimmy. Jimmy, he shoots on two people, he misses it. And battle for the rebound behind me is hustling, and it's gonna be a jump ball here between maybe Jaime and Kyrie or Jaime and Kleber. Oh boy. Oh. You go Patty Mills before Bryant. <laughs> yeah. Look, Pat Riley looks like he's about to have a stroke. That's how Pat Riley does. You know, I mean like, he's just on the <laughs> On that bench, just you know, like looking pissed, but you don't say a damn thing or do a damn thing about it. And again, and again, K Love is in the game, but Brian can't see no minutes. All right, cool. Yeah, it is what it is. You know, we're just and now they're trying to discuss who's gonna be jump, you know, doing a jump ball with Jaime. Yo, salute thousand eyes. And yeah, Marcus, I mean, I wish I wish the best for Nate Robinson. Yeah. Uh messed up. Yep. So it's going to be Jaime versus Kyrie here, jump ball. And Jaime needs to recognize where his teammates at. Uh, maybe a back tap would be the best solution here. He back taps it, but it goes to Tim Hardaway. Here comes Dante Exum now. Dallas up 5, 26 to 21. About 210 left in his first quarter. Exum with the ball. Picks up his dribble. He gives it off to Kyrie. Kyrie's being guarded by Patty Mills. Now we got a double. And he gives it off to Tim Hardaway. And then Kyrie gets left open. He lines up a three. Unfortunately, he misses it. Here comes K Love now. K Love's moving fast here. He gives it off to Patty. Patty's off of the K Love screen. Patty attacks. Patty finds Jimmy. Jimmy tries to go up. He's getting beat up here. No call. Oh, and then they're going to say ball is going to go over to Dallas. <laughs> oh, my Lucky goodness. Dog, Let's look at this replay right here. Yep, Kyrie's reaching in, and Kleber just goes right into his body. A forward lunge. That's a clear-cut foul. Look at his lunge by uh, Kleber. That's a forward lunge. The hell, man. Like, wow, really? this is insane. <laughs> That's, wow. That's shocking. That's Kyrie Irving with the ball right here. He finds Tim Hardaway in the corner. Tim Hardaway, he turns the ball over, and Jimmy 
He tries to track down the steal. He gets it, but couldn't get a layup. It was too far out. Patty Mills for three. Patty Mills knocks it down. Patty Mills says wisdom. Shut up. He comes in and he knocks down the three ball. And he cuts this lead to two. Tim Hardaway gives it off to Kleber. Kleber right back to Tim Hardaway. And Tim Hardaway trying to create off the bounce here. He gives it back to Kleber. Kleber to Kyrie. And Kyrie, shot clock going down. We know what Kyrie wants to do. Crossover move. Good defense by Highsmith. And Kyrie's just a great player. He knocks it down, but make it Probably tough. I can mad. live with that. Mm -hmm. Probably be mad, man. As we got Jaime Hawkins crossover move. Jaime Hawkins, oh my God, he's jumping in the air. You can't do that. That's basic fundamentals, man. Why are you jumping for? You're already 6'7". You can't see? As we got Exum, he's going to take the ball across half court. Heat down four here. And Exum finds Kyrie. Kyrie's being guarded by Highsmith. And Kyrie pulls a three and he knocks it down. He's finding a rhythm right now. I mean, you can't give him that. I mean, I don't know, man. As we got Patty Mills. Patty Mills, he's going to get off to Jimmy. Jimmy's guarded by Exum. And look how Dallas is packing the paint here. That's their strategy. Jimmy attacks. Jimmy finds Patty. Patty's in the corner. He lines up a three, and this one's off. Rebound Josh Green. And Josh Green's get off to Kyrie, and Dallas is going to hold for the last shot here. Let's see how they play this. Kyrie with the ball with Highsmith guarding him. Please don't double. And Kyrie, with three seconds left, Kyrie, in and out move, behind the back, a fall away jumper. He knocks it down, nothing but net. And there's nothing you can do about that, because if you double, now you're giving a pro player a practice shot. I don't like that. It was a tough shot by Kyrie, but he got to the same spot he went to last time. Just, yeah, just a great move right there. Tough shot. Tough shot. It literally doubled him into the same spot, like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. And he down nine at the end of one. I mean, Kyrie and Lucas come to play. We need something from Jimmy and Bam, even though Jimmy's getting hacked. More so Bam. We need something from Bam more so. I mean, it is what it is. You know, these games come down to players at times, man. I'm not looking for Patty Mills or Highsmith behind me and all those guys to save us. There's a reason why, you know what I'm saying, like they're at a certain pay grade and Bam and Jimmy's at a certain pay grade themselves. You got to come through and you got to play ball. I don't like the fact that it took Bam sitting down for Jimmy to actually take a shot. Like, I get it, like everyone else was going, but still, like, you should be demanding the ball at least. Yeah, no doubt about it. Let's see how we adjust in quarter number two. And Lil Tay says Clipper sticking. They got an easy first round. They just don't know. I mean, the Clippers don't think so. Their fans do. You know what I'm saying? Like, but they're yeah. not the ones on the court having to play defense and having to play. I know the Clippers respect Dallas, the the, the team, the coach, the players, knowing that they have to guard Luka and Kyrie. They're not just sitting here acting like it's nothing. Hmm. Uh, this is it's definitely not going to be a, a easy matchup if, if, if that's the 4-5. Definitely not going to be easy. And the last time they played... Um... Yeah, last time Clippers and Dallas played in the playoffs, both times it went seven. So, hmm. yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a dog fight. Exactly. You want to think that's an easy matchup, <laughs> and that's before they got Kyrie. So, hey, yeah, I know they got uh, Harden and and some other guys too to help out, but still, you know, what I mean, with these two scoring phenoms and stuff like that, it's gonna make it very tough, man to beat them four times in a series when Luca could give you two series off of his great, I mean, two games in a series off of just spectacular performances and Kyrie could get you two as well. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> off of just spectacular performances. And it's, and it's the same thing for the Clippers. You know I mean? Like Kawhi could, you know, it's going to be a star battle. Yo, salute Sosa. 
Salut, Sosa. Salut, Sosa. Yeah, we'll see what happens, man. This is what this playoff is going to be about, man. You know, everything's on the table. You can't hide and all the realities are going to be set in stone. All the realities are going to be set in stone. There's going to be no more talking. And it's going to be time, you know what I mean, like to put the money on the table and, 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 and let's see what happens. I mean, I think, I, think, I think all these series are going to be good. You know, I know people down on the East, but I feel like it's nope, going to be yeah. some good series in the East as well. For some reason, I think the East this year, that the, the East playoffs are this year going to be better than uh, the West. I could be wrong, but yeah, I think I think the West got a lot of hype. I mean, yeah, like they they're deep, but I gotta see once the you know that like matchups get finalized. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. What's what's going on? Yeah, to see to see who's gonna play who is gonna be very interesting. As we're back in the action right now, heat down nine at the end of one. Starting off this second quarter, we got Jaime Hawkins bringing the ball down the court, being guarded by Josh Green. And Jaime Hawkins still with a live dribble. He gets to switch. Gafford's on him. He picks it up. He's trying to find someone. Shot clock going down. He got to go to work here. Dad is playing good defense on this possession. Patty Mills with a crossover move. Pump fake step through. He gets fouled. And he's going to get two free throws. And again, if you're, if you're Derrick Jones Jr., that's a terrible defensive play. You got Patty Mills by about six inches. You had him right where you wanted him. Just contest. But we'll take it, and Patty's going to get two at the line. Draven, of course. Of course. Of course we're going to see tons of threes. This is the era now. Now, the teams that got the guys that could break you off in the mid-range a little bit better, those are the teams I feel like that's going to advance. Because if you're living and dying by, by the three and you're not breaking it, you know, in, in the mid-range, it's going to be tough, man. And Patty Mills knocks down both free throws here. We're going to have Tim Hardaway inbounding to Derrick Jones. Tim Hardaway takes it across that court, hands off to Kyrie. Kyrie to Josh Green. Josh Green trying to attack Patty Mills here. Patty Mills trying to hold his ground. Josh Green picks up his dribble. He got poked. Dallas recovers. It's Derrick Jones. Derek Jones throws it out to Kyrie, and Kyrie got five on the clock here. And Kyrie, he gets all the way to the lane for a layup. Long steps right there by Kyrie. He's able to get to the other side of the rim and lay it in, <coughs> protecting the ball, and the Heat turned the ball over. <laughs> the turnover Miami, ball's going the other way. And right now, Dallas is in the Kaseya Center cooking. Look at this replay right here. Kyrie, he gets... High Smith behind them, and at that point, you could just use the rim as protection on the reverse. Here comes Kyrie now. Kyrie gives it off to Josh Green. Josh Green dumps it down to Gafford, and Gafford gets a layup. No, no type no of interior presses. presses down low for Miami. No fucking resistance, bro. As we got yeah, K Love at the top of the key here, being guarded by Gafford, he gives it off to Jaime, and Jaime trying to attack, and Jaime turns, and they're gonna call a foul. I'll that's take a, it, that's but a that's bail a bailout. Out. Nope, I don't even want it, man. That's a bailout. Should, should have just left it. Jesus fucking Christ, bro. Yeah, what a breakdown by the Heat's defense on that one right there. Heat down 11. They need to wake up before this thing balloons. Hmm. As we got Highsmith, he inbounds it to Jimmy. Jimmy got to go to work. And Jimmy gets a screen from Patty, and all Dallas does is switch it. Now Jimmy got to go to work on Tim Hardaway, expose him. Jimmy spins. Jimmy, he throws it into the stands. Turnover Miami, and Dallas is on an 11-2 scoring run. Guess what? Luca been on the bench. Exactly. And that's here we go with. Problem. That's one of this team's biggest problems, man. They think just because the star is out, okay, everyone's going to play like crap. No. As we got Kyrie with the ball, he's being guarded by Highsmith. And Kyrie's going to get a screen. And Kyrie, he gets fouled right there. And ball's going to stay with Dallas. A 37-26 lead for Dallas. Look at this replay. Let me see. Kyrie goes behind the back. He's warding Highsmith off with his elbow. That's a good veteran move. I don't think that's a foul, but I can see why the ref called it. Wow, all, 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 all the Heat fans don't believe no more. At Tim Hardaway, off the screen, he rises up for three. He misses it. 
and they're going to call a loose ball foul here, and it's going to stay with Dallas as K Love has no help down low. Um, and again, Spo, you know, Spo just makes me sick. I said it once, said it twice, said it three times, I said it a thousand times. I just don't understand why he's doing this to the team. As we got Hardaway inbounds to Gafford, and now K Love's out of the paint. That means that he got no paint presence. Here comes Kyrie. Kyrie finds Derrick Jones. Derrick Jones lines up a corner three. He's off. Battle for the rebound. K Love got a quick outlet to Jaime. Jaime finds Jimmy. Jimmy goes up. Jimmy misses a dunk. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Here comes Derrick yeah. Jones. Derrick Jones would have gathered. Derrick Jones smokes the layup. Rebound to Caleb. Caleb needs to slow it down here. Heat down 11. Plenty of time left in his half. Here comes K Love. K Love lines up a three in the middle. He knocks it down. K Love laces a three for Miami. That's a big shot for Miami. Miami needed something to get back in the rhythm. They're down eight, though, and Kyrie has the ball. And Kyrie, he got Jimmy on him. And I don't know what Caleb's trying to do. Just stay on your man one pass away. And Kyrie finds Tim Hardaway. Yeah, Tim Hardaway yeah, finds Josh Green. Open corner three. He's off. We're lucky. Rebound K Love. He gives it off to Jaime. Jaime needs to slow down and relax, bro. He gives it off to K Love. K Love throws it up to Jimmy. And Jimmy gets stripped by Kyrie. And Jimmy just wasted. And Kyrie pulls up for three. Kyrie knocks it down. So he strips Jimmy. He comes through with momentum and he steps in right into a rhythm three. He knocks it down and Jimmy's terrible tonight. And Caleb, he gets blocked. He's begging for a foul, not getting back. Dallas running. They playing hard. And Tim Hardaway gets a slam. Timeout Miami Heat. Dallas getting ready to run the heat out the gym if they don't wake up. Huh. They already are. And for some reason... And look at this replay forward. here. Yeah. I, like, Jimmy's weak with the fucking ball. Like, he's just been mm -hmm. terrible tonight, man. And Kyrie, he's playing with a lot of energy. Like, he's playing like a, a, a dude that's on a team that's desperate for wins. Meanwhile, we're over here acting like we're in a Mercedes Benz, but we're really in a damn bucket. Because they know nothing they do matters now. <laughs> Meanwhile, Lucas just chilling. Yeah, Lucas chilling. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, like he's... Uh, you know, probably gonna, you know, get some, um, you know, what I mean, vodka. You know, what I mean, like, you know, them Europeans, they love their hard liquor. You know, oh, what I mean, like, he already got the <laughs> drinking a Miami cafecito, chilling yep. on our expense because you know, that's just <laughs> us, you know. Yep. And for some reason, what? still, Spo don't want to put fresh legs in there, like. Bro, at this, at this point, no. At this point, it's just like you deserve to fucking lose because you're co you're you're just an idiot. You're yeah. an idiot, bro. You just mm -hmm. came off a double overtime game. Mm -hmm. Win or lose, bro. They're fucking tired. I don't care what they say. They're tired. You can see it in their play. They're tired. But no, what do you want to do? All right, keep play through it. Play through. No, no, no. This is what the season is about. You got to struggle and uh, find a way to fuck you, bro. Fuck you. Jeez, that's why I don't. Ex that's why I'm just waiting for this regular season to be done, man. I'm I'm sick of this shit. Yeah, nothing it's definitely do, been frustrating. I mean, nothing they do matters anymore because both Indiana and uh, Philly would have to lose all their games. Meanwhile, we'd have to win all our games. And I don't see either one of them moving in the standings. And Chicago and Atlanta are too far behind us to move up. So we're the eighth seed. So just end the shout season. out, shout out to, to, to this. Get to the Daniel point. for for the re membership. Baby. Salute, <laughs> Daniel. Salute, salute. I ain't even man. This game, man. I these guys. These guys can, can really make anybody look look like they're geniuses, boy. I swear, it's one thing Miami can do. Make motherfuckers look like they're geniuses. Yep, you just, let you just let motherfuckers shoot threes. You, 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 ain't, you just let them shoot. Don't, don't put nobody on them, nothing. Just, just let them shoot. Jimmy missed a dunk. They, they, uh, again, I don't know why you keep looking for fails. They're not giving you fails, bro. 
So stop looking for fams. I don't, I don't know why you put yourself in that position every time, bro. They're not giving you nothing. They, come on, man. Jaime, Jaime playing like he 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 just uh, I don't know these guys, man. And you got you got Bam and all of them over there. You you got Thomas Bryan, the energy giver man over there. You just just ain't trying nothing new. Just I guess hey man, it is what it is. Like I said, it is what it is, bro. Whew. As we got Caleb, Caleb knocks down a mid range shot out of the timeout. The offense still looks kind of funky, just a lot of clutter, not enough spacing. But you know, Caleb was able to knock down the jumper. It's an 11 point lead for Dallas, 42 31. Plenty of time left in his half. He got to wake up. And Luca skips it over to Kyrie. Kyrie gets a clean look for three. He knocks it down. I don't know what the Heat doing on defense. <laughs> I mean, you know, like they're just giving Kyrie clean looks. You know, like uh, like, like he's like just any any any, funnel, any, any player. As we got Bam, we hand off to Tyler, and Tyler he draws two, finds Caleb. Caleb lines up a three. Caleb knocks it down. So Caleb responds with a three ball. Hopefully this wakes Caleb up a little bit. We definitely need him. Salute, uh, Wavy, Matt Moses, Dwayne. As we got Gafford, top of the key with the ball, he finds Luca, and Luca got three fouls. I hope Miami don't let him off the hook. And Luca with the ball, he's probing. He got Bam on him, and Luca's gonna take a tough shot. He bricks it. A good defense by Bam. I can live with Bam on Luca. As Tyler finds Caleb, and Caleb smokes a layup. And here comes Kyrie. Kyrie to Luca. Luca alley oop to Derrick Jones Jr. He throws it down. So on one end, we smoke a layup. And then the Dallas Mavs, they get an easy one. dunk the How? other way. As we got Tyler Hero with the ball now. Heat down 13. They just can't get out of their own way right now. Tyler Hero, good hesitation. He froze Derrick Jones. High arc and layup is good. It's a good hesitation right there by Tyler Hero. Getting to the rim and getting a tough layup. Here comes Luca with the ball, being guarded by Jimmy. And Luca gets the switch. Now he got Jaime on him. Luca, pump fakes. And Jaime don't need to bite. Good defense. And they call a foul. <laughs> Jesus Christ almighty. That's 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 one of the most garbage foul calls you'll see. I mean, Luca had absolutely. I told no you, bro. To this motherfucker I told Luka had you. nowhere to go, bro. Wow. They man. give them they give them the fails. We can't get we can't get the fail. That's what I say. Is is man, look, I know what these motherfuckers doing, bro. I'm not, I'm really, I'm not even. It is what it is, bro. I know what these motherfuckers doing, man. To be fair, it is, is what it is. They they they, they 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 doing they they doing every motherfucking thing to make do make sure Miami don't get nowhere. My and Miami helping them now. Don't think Miami. Ain't helping yeah, we definitely. Yeah, yeah, like we definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we definitely helping out because we playing like garbage. You know, dudes can't handle the ball. Dudes can't finish layups. Dude can't do shit. Dudes can't can't take advantage of mismatches. They getting stripped by little guys. As, Nick dunks. Nick dunks. <laughs> as we got Luca, he catched in both free throws. He brings it back up to thirteen. And Tyler Hero with the ball. Tyler Hero trying to get into the lane. He gives it out to Bam and Bam right here. And Bam got to go to work. Bam. He better be careful before he gets caught for offensive foul. He smokes the hook shot. And he gets beat down the court, and Gafford throws it down for a dunk. And Miami, he just got no energy right now. It's, it's, it's just clear. He's getting beat down the court by a center. As we got Caleb Martin, Caleb Martin gives it off to Tyler. Tyler attacks Tyler with a floater, and Tyler gets it to fall. If there's one thing about the Heat, at some point, he's going to make a run. I mean, I know that for a fact. Bro, what you want Bam them to do, bro? A double overtime last night got come play today. You got all them goddamn young fresh legs over there. What what the fuck you want? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah they played last <laughs> night, but them guys ain't played that tough last night. And Tyler skips it over to Heisman. Crazy, Heisman bro. finds Bam. And Bam... You got to look to go to work here. If, if you're going to be on the court, you got to go to work. 
and Bam attacks, Bam, he airballs a floater. Bam airballed a close little float shot. And Luca with the ball, he skips it over to Exum. Exum finds PJ. PJ's attacking the paint. PJ, he throws it down to Gafford and battle for the ball. And Gafford, he throws it up and he gets a physical layup right there. He's just out muscling the heat right now. Highsmith, pump fake. Of fakes, course attacks. he is. He finds he got Tyler. more energy. To- <laughs> and Tyler misses a three. Here comes Tim Hardaway. He pulls that, up a three in transition. The- he knocks it down. And the heat the down fuck, 20. Man. And the you heat got down them guys 20. out there just came off a of double double. You got all them fresh motherfucking legs over there. This motherfucker putting in fresh legs and everything. He playing the same motherfucking people who just came off a of double double last night. Kill stupidity, bro. <laughs> the fuck, bro? Shit is just ridiculous what this dude do, man. It's fucking ridiculous, man. And he don't care as well. <laughs> he no, he don't give a fuck. He don't give a fuck. Hell no, he don't give a fuck, bro. You got all them motherfucking fresh legs over there. That's why I was trying to say that in the in the in the first half is a role player half because you need your guys for the second half, and you know we play bad in the second half, so. This first half coming off the back to back, that's when you put in Delon and you put Patty Mills. I had no problem exactly. with that, but you need more. You need Thomas Bryant. Maybe exactly. you could throw Kane a little Kane bit. In, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Just change it up a different look that Dallas didn't scheme up for. You know what I'm saying? Just throw him a curveball. And, and you still want Bam and and he still want Bam do everything out there. Just off. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Well, I, on, I can't give Bam no pass for, you know, airballing. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, he's oh, right at the rim. Bam. Man, Bam exhausted, man. These motherfucking guys exhausted, I bro. I don't know, man. These, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, these so, pro these athletes. These guys bro. exhausted. But yeah, I can't give I, them that pro pass. Pro athletes, man, they're human, bro. They're human. They're fucking human. Don't nobody do what the fuck Bam do, bro. Don't nobody do what Bam do. There's not a cent out there do what Bam do. <clears throat> Come on, bro. I ain't mad at Bam at one motherfucking bit. Just come out double double. You ain't even setting them down for goddamn five minutes. Come on, bro. And you have come K-Lover on, man. Stop, 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 again. stop it with this. Right. this. Come on, man. I, I ain't. I don't give a fuck what they do at this point, bro. This motherfucker still playing these guys, man. That's what we ain't saying don't play them. All we do is say start fresh, fresh meat so they can get longer rest. You got plenty of goddamn uh, uh, players over there that you can play to set them guys who just came off a, de- a, a motherfucking double overtime just just 12 hours ago, damn near. 15 <laughs> hours ago. Come on, bro. Yeah, Dallas might have played yesterday. Dallas ain't. This motherfucker going deep in his bench. He playing all his bench. Them motherfuckers, half of them guys ain't played yesterday who he playing today. Come on, man. Y'all, y'all expect you fall into that bullshit, man. Come on, man. Stop that shit. All that shit Bam got to do. This, that, that. Come on, man. Stop it with that professional athlete bullshit, bro. Stop it, bro. They're human. They're fucking human, man. We got bodies over there. We got fucking bodies over there. And right there, tell you he ain't got no leg. Motherfucker can't even hit the basket. Come on, bro. As they call a foul here, Bam. Like you say, ain't position. saying don't play, Bam.
And look at this shit. Just and just just calling everything on us. All we gotta do is look at these motherfuckers. They call the fail. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Stop this bullshit, man. And Caleb drives, he gets stripped. Trying to drive in traffic. Miami just turning the ball over. And Luca gives it off to PJ. PJ attacking off the bounce. He finds Gafford, and Gafford gets an easy layup with no type of interior presence down low. Here comes Nico now. Nico with a live dribble. He down 22. And bam, he finds a cutting Highsmith. Highsmith is hemmed up. Bam. He misses the, the little hook shot. Highsmith with the offensive rebound. Highsmith gets the layup to go. Good hustle by Highsmith. I mean, you still got to fight. You still got to get it done, man. To whom much is given, much is required, man. You got to get it done. You got to fight. If they got if they got to drag you off the court, then they're going to drag you off the court. But fight. As we got Kyrie with the ball, he's being guarded by Highsmith. Highsmith finds Tim Hardaway. Open corner three. He misses it. Battle for the rebound and a tap out because Bam was in the perimeter and we got nobody down low like usual. <laughs> Luca, he attacks. He misses it. Rebound Highsmith, and Luca's crying, so he should have numbers. Highsmith finds Caleb. Caleb, he gets blocked, but also it's a foul. He should get two free throws out of this. Just got to keep fighting, man. Just got to keep fighting. Play better and keep fighting. It's Caleb. He's going to get two at the line here. Let's see if we can win this last two minutes and 50 seconds. At least bring it in a little closer before halftime. You know, get some fluids, stretch, get on that bike, and get ready for that second half. As Caleb, he knocks down the first free throw. He got one more on the way. And Caleb gets the second free throw to fall. He down 18. He got 245 left in his half. Need to get a stop here. Luca, he gives it off to Kyrie. Kyrie's being guarded by Caleb. And they're going to call a foul on Kyrie's drive. And Kyrie looks like he's going to get two free throws out of this. Actually, it's a sideline out of bounds. Maxi Kleber, he he blows by Bam on the perimeter, and he's <laughs> gonna get two free throws. Oh my god! I mean, when you're getting blown by by Maxi Kleber, it's a problem. As I, I believe that's Mike James, the like the veteran Mike James, old school Mike James. I think he used to play for the Heat for at least a season or so. Maxi Kleber. Knocks down the first free throw. He got one more on the way. And Luca broke Mark Aguirre's record for most points in the season in Dallas history. Is Dirk Luca, Dirk Aguirre, and now Luca top five. As we got Tyler Hero, he's getting pressed. Heat down twenty here. Poor first half. Predictable. As we got Tyler attacking off the bounce, he throws up a floater. He misses it. Battle for the rebound. Bam got it. Bam smokes a layup. <laughs> I mean, these are layups. I mean, I, I can't, I can't, yeah, I can't, I can't give Bam passive. And again, Nico, he gets caught in the air instead of playing solid defense. And Luca's gonna get two free throws out of it. Low <sighs> IQ defense, man. Stay on your feet and defend. You're too anxious to, to try to block Luca. You're just too anxious. <laughs> oh, boy. And and again, Spo, Spo definitely got to utilize the um, 
the bench a little bit more in the first half, like I've been saying. But again, if you're on the court, I'm still gonna expect you to produce. I can't, I can't let you off the hook. You know, I'm mean? like they gotta take you off in a, in a in a in a in a stretcher, and then I'll think about giving you. You know, what I mean, but I, I just, I can't do it. I'm seeing, I'm seeing some easy plays being missed. And Caleb, he lines up a three wide open. He misses it. Battle for the rebound. Luca taps it out to Kleber. Here comes Kyrie. And Kyrie, he's going to take a sidestep three. He knocks it down. And Dallas is just cleaning house with the heat right now. A 16-4 to four run. Miami Heat just can't put points on the board. Offense is funky. Yeah, Jimmy really nowhere like to be found. <laughs> As Jimmy gives it to Caleb, Caleb attacks. And Caleb gets his shot blocked. And here comes Kyrie now. Kyrie finds Luca. Luca with the ball. He's being guarded by Caleb. Luca, pump fake, steps through, finds PJ. PJ is going to line up a three. PJ is going to miss. And Jimmy gets the rebound. Yeah, players just got to step up. I mean, you know, like Dallas is not a good defensive team. The problem is Miami's offense is just broken and putrid. Here comes Nico. Nico lines up a three. Nico misses it. Jimmy gets the offensive rebound. He spins into a layup and gets it to go. Yeah, he offense is just is just putrid. Yeah, and that's the thing too. Thousand eyes. I mean, you know, what I mean, us us going double overtime with Atlanta. That's our fault too. As mm -hmm. Luca steps back, he barely grazes the rim. And Bam got it. He gives it off to Tyler. Nico trying to go off the bounce here. He finds Caleb. Caleb to Jimmy. Jimmy lines up a three. Jimmy knocks it down. So Jimmy makes it a 20-point game. A little bit of life here at the end of the first half. And Dallas, they're going to hold for last shot. Probably a .5 second difference between shot and game. So it's going to be last shot here taken by Mavs. And we know Luca wants it. If you blitz him, you'll find the open guy. Luca, now he got the switch. Now Bam's on him now. Bam's going to play good defense here. And Luca with a tough turnaround jumper, he knocks it down. There's absolutely nothing you can do. And that's great defense. And that's the end of the first half. Heat down 22, 69 to 47. They got blitzed in that second quarter. And, and you know, again, another poor home effort by Miami. Absolute garbage uh, home team this season. Um. A very disappointing thing. The fans come and paying their money. But really, all they're getting is a, is a Luka and Kyrie show, so they can't complain. Mm -hmm. But I know they want the home team to win. So it is what it is. Um, I'm not giving none of these bastards a pass because I've been seeing it the whole season. No back-to-back. -back health, you know, two days off, three days off. It's the same shit. So I'm going to roast them. You know, I'm going to roast Spo because I've been roasting Spo the whole season. I'm going to roast Spo. Okay, cool. He's out the way. Now the people on the court, you got to get roasted too. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's just how it works. And uh, let's see uh, what happens in the second half. And again, you got to fight to the end. The game's not over until it's over. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, you know how I rock. Until 0 0.00, I'm going to keep believing that we could turn it around some way, somehow. But, I mean, I'm, I'm you know, I'm over here just – you know, commentating. I'm not playing. So, you know, so the players got to believe it too. If they don't, then it is what it is. Who's playing Mexican music? I uh, see ads from yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, ESPN yeah, thing. Yeah, the ads. Yeah. yeah, we found out what it was yesterday. Uh, last night, this year. <laughs> the ads oh. from the. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go pick up my wife. Is uh, it still so doing it? Uh, yeah, not, right not right now. Yeah. If I'm mm -hmm. if I'm not back, uh, mm -hmm. you know, by the time the second half starts, I should be back. But if I ain't back, uh, D Master, you know, I'm gonna hold it down for me. Oh I'll yeah, be back, D Master got it. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt, no doubt. <laughs> All right, babe. They say you crying, Tom. Boy, shut your dumb ass up. Tom was <laughs> fucking crying in some regular season. Boy, shut your stupid ass up. And this. This coming from a motherfucking Knicks fan, a New York Knicks fan. They ain't never won shit since since uh, uh, Richard Nixon was in fucking office in 73. Boy, sit your stupid ass down. 
the fuck is you talking about? Dude. Dumbass. <laughs> you motherfuckers ain't win nothing since Richard Nixon was in office. <laughs> yeah, I'm crying. <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 crying. I sure am. Watergate, huh? Again. <laughs> yeah, again. This motherfucker ain't win nothing since he's off. He talking about I'm crying. It is a bit boy. If you don't set your stupid ass down, boy, get the fuck out of here. You ain't worrying about no motherfucking regular season shit, man. This shit is already solidified. We even gonna we're gonna be eighth seed, seven seed, that's it. Or just eighth seed. It is what it is. Oh, it is love. This show is. Yeah, I'm just I'm just at this rate. Might as well play the bench and rest these guys for the play man. Exactly. I, and that's I that's my get, whole I point. Don't get what he's doing, bro. See, like, that's <laughs> again, that's my point. Why the fuck not? Nothing See, you do matters anymore. Point. Like you lost both the games you needed. Now nothing you, even if you go four and oh, nothing you do matters. So just play the fucking bench, man. Why you being so damn hard headed? And uh, maybe Bam, maybe Bam and Jim, Jimmy need get hurt. That's what they, that's what it need. Maybe Bam and Jimmy need get hurt. Stupid motherfucker. Hmm. Yeah. That's, maybe that's what need to happen. I mean, hey, that's who he is. He don't give a fuck. He don't care. So maybe that's what need be get happen. Maybe that, you know. It is what it is. Maybe that's what he's trying to do. Who knows? I wouldn't. I told you, I ain't putting nothing past none of these motherfuckers this year. I ain't putting nothing past none of these motherfuckers. Yeah. This motherfucking bullshit that he's doing, man. This shit is crazy, man. Just, just ain't changing up nothing. Just, just stubborn, man. This nigga just sickening, man. This dude, this motherfucker just sickening, man. It is what it is at this point, man. It, it it is like I said, make these motherfucking guys look better than what the fuck they are. These motherfuckers ain't win nothing, ain't been nowhere, ain't did nothing. As soon as they play us motherfuckers, they got half of these motherfuckers in there who ain't even played. The only motherfuckers that was on the floor before halftime that played yesterday. Was fucking Luca, Luca, and, and uh, Kyrie. Even, even that mo, e even Jason Kidd putting fresh motherfucking bodies in there. <sighs> even Jimmy, even fucking Jason Kidd putting his goddamn bench in, cause he knew he played yesterday. Motherfucker's just stupid, bro.
Bam has issues, Chris. That's all I can say. Bam has issues. You funny, Wavy. <clears throat> the game is not over, Wavy. Yeah, I think he's, um, I don't know where he's at. I think he's on mute or away. I'm not sure. Hey, what's up, camera? Yeah, I just got back. He was doing something. What's up? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Wait, who's the racist team? Uh, I missed that. Who? I don't know. He said he'll never be a fan of a racist team. Who's the racist team? Who's the racist team, Andre? Boston. Boston? Oh, okay. Jim Crow. Jim Crow Celtics. Uh, Cause I know it ain't the Heat. Yeah, Jim Crow Celtics. Man, look, we in the AC, bro. It is what it is, T85. It don't, it don't, it don't even make no difference if, if Magic lose or what, because it ain't gonna make no difference. Cause we gonna fucking lose. And so it, it ain't, it ain't gonna make no difference, bro. This spoiled 
it just and it ain't it ain't gonna make no difference, bro. It is what it is. We just get ready for the play in Tuesday or whenever we play. We just get ready for the playing, bro. Whoever whoever's in the seventh seed. No, nah, Jogger, no, no, New York could never be racist. <laughs> they were they were hyping up Lynn Sanity. <laughs> hey, um, D Master. Hey, Slick Rick, send me you my on. money, bro. I think we own. Think... Oh, no, we're not back. We're not back. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> hey, Slick Rick, send me my money, man. Send, send me my money. Here, here my cash app right here, Slick Rick. Send me my two hundred, bro. Yeah, it is. Nephew, 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 elder already paid his bet. Pay your bet, Slick Rick. Don't have me waiting two weeks. Pay your bet, bro. That you got my cash app right there. Oh yeah, we're back. Yeah, we dumbass does some damn liquors. We're gonna get some fourth seat. Okay. (laughs) As we start the third, Jimmy's Hit got that the cash at Slick Rick. Got it by Derek Jones. Let me keep asking, man. Pass it off to Tyler. Tyler kicks out to Yogi's corner three. Here's a brick. Rebound, Luca. Yeah, Luca with the slow pace. The pace of a snail, I tell you. People think Brooke Lopez is slow. <laughs> and put, kept, rip, pass it off to Kyrie, back to Luca. Being guarded by Bam. Tries for the step back three, but didn't want that smoke. Gets it now, though. And he bricks it. Rebound, Jovic. Pass to Tyler. Tyler picks off his dribble. Pass off to Jovic. Jovic down to Bam down low against Luka. Dunk it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Finally dunks it after pump faking on Luka. The hell are you? My God. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Kyrie with the ball. Pump fakes and gets Bam in the air. Jesus Christ. Kicks out to the open oh, PJ shit. for three and PJ sinks it. Jesus Christ. It's like the defense collapses into the paint, like, on everybody. Doesn't matter who's driving. Fucking ridiculous. Anyway, Jovic got the ball, throws it to Bam in the corner. Bam shoots a three and is off. Oh, God. Your inside shot sense. isn't working, man. Why would you take a three? Luca passes it into... Daniel Gafford, who was being got, who was being boxed out by Caleb, and then they called a foul. Obviously, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? From now on, when Bam shoots that three, I want to see you sprint down the fucking court, man. Because all this jogging shit when you're at the three point line, like it's it's fucking ridiculous, man. The three point line is the, la- the, the excuse me, the three point shot is the laziest shot in basketball. And that's actually a fact. I'm not just saying that off a of feeling. Like, it's the laziest shot in basketball, and you have an advantage when you uh, get him back. As we come back out of the break, Derek Jones Jr. just got a floater to go in. Now, Bam's got the ball. Pass it off to Tyler. Tyler takes the three. It's a brick. Jovic there for the putback, though. 74-51, Dallas. <laughs> still down by 23. Jesus. And suppose still don't want to put fresh legs in the third quarter. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Kyrie with the ball, working on Bam. Why Bam's at the perimeter, I do not know, because that leaves you handicapped. Stonewall's Kyrie. However, Derek Jones Jr. gets an open mid-range shot that he bricks. Wow. Bam with the rebound, bringing it up half court. Pass off to Tyler. Tyler takes another three, and it's a brick, but they call a foul. I don't know on who. It's either Derek Jones Jr. or Daniel Gafford. I believe Tyler's getting three free throws. Should be, at least. Yeah, as he makes the first one. Makes the second one. Oh, yep, it is free. Three. Yeah. 
So we've got one more left. <clears throat> And he makes all three. Now it's a 20 point game. As Lucas being guarded by Jimmy gets the switch on Bam. Drives to the paint, stop, pull up is good. <laughs> gets it to four because he's got that shooter's bounce. Jimmy's got the ball now, bringing it up on half court. Gets all the way into the lane and decides to kick it out. Jesus Christ. But Jovic is there with the slam off of a feed from Tyler. So there's that. Uh, Luca's got the ball now being guarded by Jimmy again. Another pick and, ro uh, another pick and roll. Now they're doubling him. Jesus Christ. Derek Jones Jr. with the ball. Gives it back to Luca all the way from the logo. And that's a break. Rebound Jovic, pushing the pace. Oh, gets stripped from behind. Jesus Christ. Kyrie takes a transition three. Is no good. Caleb with the rebound. And he is driving into the paint. Jesus Christ. He <laughs> gets poked. None of these guys can keep their hands on the ball, and yet Spo doesn't want to change up. Nothing. Okay. And Jovic gets the inbound, gives it off to Tyler. Tyler's being guarded by Derek Jones Jr., gives it back to Jovic. Jovic goes in with a layup but gets blocked. Luca with the ball, being guarded by Bam, actually being doubled, gives it to Derek Jones Jr. But yeah, gives it to Kyrie. Kyrie's working on Jovic, gets into the lane, gets, gets stripped, but nobody could grab the fucking rebound. It goes off to Daniel Gafford, who gives it to Derek Jones Jr., and Derek Jones Jr. gets a fucking three. Jesus Christ, man. And people wonder why I say this game is over. For, yeah, this game was over from the first half. Like, Come on, yeah. Dean Master. I no, want to have so, a little bit of grain of faith. The writing, is, no, the writing is on the wall. These guys are tired, yet Spo wants to run uh... them into the ground. For some stupid ass reason. Oh, because Dallas is using their stars, I gotta use mine. Why? You see their shots aren't falling. You see they're fucking tired. Do you want to change up shit? No. Sorry, guys. Uh, Lucas got the ball being guarded by... Nope. Gives it to Derek Jones Jr. Takes another three. This one's off. Rebound by Bambo. He gets stripped by Daniel Gafford. Luckily, Jovic is there with the rebound. Oh, my good God. I was about to fucking say. Bam drove in. He got hit by Derek Jones Jr. And they called a foul. I was going to say. If they let that go. <laughs> And yeah, Bam's gonna get two free throws. Let's see if he converts them. As Bam's first three throw is good. Now it's a 20-point lead, 79 to 59 for the Dallas Mavericks. And I still don't see no substitutions. I could be wrong. Hold on, let me just um, add break. Anytime now. Thank you. <laughs> yep, still no substitution for us. But Dallas has made substitutions. Okay. Exxon's back in the game, and I believe that, yeah, and Cleaver's back in the game for PJ Washington and uh, Daniel Gafford. Luke's got the ball being guarded by Caleb, gets the switch on Bam, takes a step back three, and he drains it. Jimmy's got the ball now, asks Bam for a screen, gets the switch on Cleaver, but gives it up right away to Jovic. Why'd you call for the screen in the first place? Takes the three, bricks it. Like, the fuck? Luke's got the ball now. Uh, being guarded by Jovic. Takes a step back, but doesn't take the shot. Gives it off to PJ Washington, who's fucking open from the top of the key. Misses a three, luckily. Rebound Tyler. And Tyler drives into the paint. 
throws it up but gets his shit blocked by Derek Jones Jr. My God. You're going to drive, drive all the way to the basket. Don't stop, man. Like, And that's why I don't believe in Tyler when he said, oh, when it's my, yeah, oh, I'm going to try and get to the free throw line. But no, you're not. No, you're not. You drive all the way into the paint, you stop, and then you either take a one-legged floater or a pull-up jumper. You ain't changing nothing. Like, as we got a time, yeah, there's a timeout in the action by Miami, down by 22. Like, <laughs> Thank you, Dal. <laughs> it's just the game is the game is what it is, and when your coach don't want to change shit up because he's just a hard headed prick, like if if you see the starters aren't producing like Dallas's starters, but yet you don't want to change nothing, you see they're clearly tired from last night's double overtime, which you didn't change anything. Well, yeah, which you didn't change uh, change the lineup in double overtime. So, like, why should I really be invested when I know how this game is going to go based on the way the stars are playing? Because more than likely, the stars are going to close out the game as well. So, and you don't want to put in no bench players. Okay, cool. Get beat by fucking 30 in your own house. Like, <laughs> and I have the nerve to say in the post game, yeah, shorts worth. Shut up. Shut up, man. I'm tired of hearing you talk. <sighs> Exactly, Melvin. <laughs> A stupid coach. And Riley just sitting there with no expression on his face. Man, Riley's just a Riley's just a, a face now, man. Oh. Like, I realized I realized that from uh, last year when he said, "Oh, I don't uh, I don't want to run it back." Like I I don't believe in running it back. And in the very same season, you ran it back. Like he did, he ran it back at the at the start of the season. You said, "I don't want to run it back," and then you run it back. Like what? What the, you're t- you're telling me? Okay, you're telling me either you couldn't move no one or you didn't want to. So why the hell did you say it? Like, yeah, he's just a a face to me now at this point. I just want Thomas Bryant to be free. (laughs) He ain't getting, he ain't getting free unless K Love goes down. (laughs) Wavy, I never said it's not the player's fault. I said they're tired. <laughs> I said they're playing like shit. But coming off a double overtime win, like, yeah, coming off a double overtime game, like, were you really expecting? And Miami come out with a turnover. Jesus Christ. Yeah, were, like, were you really expecting? Right. And if your coach don't change shit up, why is it that everyone else gets to blame their coach? The Bucks blame Doc Rivers. The Celtics blame Joe Mazzulla. But we don't. But we don't get to blame <laughs> our coach? Okay. <laughs> we back. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. I thought, I thought you were talking to me, yeah. <laughs> and Caleb charges into... Oh, my God. You had an open lane. Sorry, Lucy. From what I saw, they got a steal, but then Caleb just charged into Kleber. Jesus Christ. He did charge into Kleber, and it's an offensive foul. You re... You re- had the whole right side of the court. He literally stood there and you couldn't spin around him. My gosh. As we get kicked ball by K Love, because uh, Doncic was trying to pass it to, I believe that's Kleber. Yeah, trying to pass the Kleber on the inside. So that's going to be a sideline out by Dallas. 
inbound to Kleber, back to Luca, obviously. Tried for the three, didn't get it, but does the PJ Washington in the corner for three. Brick, rebound K-Love, passes it to Jovic, Jovic push and pace, brings it back to K-Love, K-Love pump fake for the three, drives inside, and layup is good. Now we've got Exxon with the ball. Gives it off to Derek Jones Jr. Back to Luca. Luca calls for a screen for PJ Washington. Gets a switch on Jovic. Step back three is a brick. Rebound K Love. K Love gives it off to Jovic. Jovic being guarded by Derek Jones Jr. Back to K Love, who shoots the three over Luca and gets the oh. shooter's bounce. Hey. <laughs> I'll take it. As Jovic brings the ball off half court, guarded by Jimmy now, and throws it off. What? Throws it off of Jimmy's foot, which rolls to PJ Washington. They don't call a kick ball. Uh, PJ Washington goes in for the layup, misses it, but Kleber's right there for the putback. Like, what? Jesus Christ. K Love with the ball back to Tyler, back to K Love. K Love shoots another three, gets that to four. 84 68 lead for Dallas. As Exxon gives the ball to Luca, Luca's got the ball being guarded by Jimmy again. Jim <laughs> he wants that switch with Jovic so much, it's ridiculous. And he, oh God, he bows his way into the fucking lane. Just no, no actual sense of anything. Just looking for the foul call when he gets bailed out, man. Like, fucking ridiculous, man. How soft this league is. It's ridiculous, bro. Lucas' first free throw rolls oh, off. Ball don't lie, dickhead. <laughs> Got one left. <clears throat> As finally we get an, well, another substitution. Jovic and Caleb sit down. Jaime and High Smith are back in the game. Jesus Christ, still no Thomas Bryant. And Lucas second free throw is good. Please take the camera off this dickhead. I'm, I'm tired of seeing Spoke's face, man. High Smith with the ball. Gives it back to Jimmy. Jimmy being guarded by... Is that? I believe that's Exum. Uh, gives it off to Tyler. Tyler at the top of the key. The K-Love back to Tyler. Drives in, but he gets stripped. Loses the fucking ball. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and another turnover by Miami. My God. 11 to 4 turnovers for Miami. Points off turnovers, 12 to 5 for Dallas. And we've got Exxon with the ball, being guarded by Hero. Luca, top of the key three, tried to get the three. But I pass it off to Exxon, back to Luca, being guarded by Jimmy. Asks Kleber for a screen, but then denies it. Shot clock going down, only got five seconds. Hardaway puts up a three, misses. K-Love with the rebound. He's bringing the ball up half court. Gives it to Jimmy in the, in the fucking paint. But yet, instead of going up with it, he fumbled it and then had to give it off to Jaime, who gets blocked. Hardaway comes back with a perimeter shot, misses. But they get the, re but they get the offensive rebound. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. And Luca crosses the fuck out of Highsmith and takes a step back three but misses. K Love with the rebound. Tyler Hero bring the ball up half court. It's guarded by Kleber. Gives it off to Jimmy. It's guarded by Hardaway Jr. Takes a mid takes a mid range shot. Gets it to full. Fifteen point lead for Dallas now. Two minutes forty seconds left. Still no Kyrie. Wow. Uh, Luca's with Luca's being guarded <laughs> by Highsmith. Top of the key. He tries to get into the. He tries to barrel into the lane. Good defense by a good defense by Highsmith forces the miss. K Love tries to fucking outlet it to Jimmy, 
but he throws it right to Dallas. He's looking at you, man. What do you think he's going? Oh, my God. And they get open three, miss it. K-Love gets the rebound again. Gives it off to Highsmith. Highsmith goes in with a layup, and he <laughs> takes it. Jesus Christ. Exxon with the ball. Pop, no, pass it off to Exxon. Excuse me. Hardaway with a pump fake. Gets Highsmith in the head. Jesus Christ. Bricks a three. <laughs> Had all the time in the world for that one. Jeez. Great brick the three. Jimmy with the ball now. Being guarded by Exxon. Gets a switch on Luca. Picks up his dribble for what? Pass it off to Tyler. Tyler drives in. Layup is good. So it's a 13 point lead now for Dallas. Oh, that's not X. X on any game, is it? Yeah, yeah. No, Jeff Green, excuse me. Oh, Green with the ball now. Being, oh, Stonewall by Highsmith. And they call a foul. <laughs> Highsmith hit him in the face. Sheesh. Being doubled by Hero and Highsmith, and Highsmith just hit him in the face. Looking for the steal, man. When you're doubling, don't go for the steal, man. Just con just literally hold your hands up. That's it. That's it, man. Yeah, I'm back. I was just I was just sitting there. You do your thing. I see. I see. We fighting back. Um, but we still look so dumb, though, man. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? We look <laughs> yeah. terrible out there. We look so yeah. dumb that we're just scr I don't even know how we're scratching back right now. I think because I Dallas think it's because Kyrie not playing or something. Cause... Yeah, because Dallas is missing. <laughs> and like reason, yeah, Jake, what know, was Caleb like was Maxi Clever like a magnet and Caleb yeah, had no literally. choice but to run into him? Literally. He had either left or right. All you the could openings have, in the world. You literally <laughs> could have span round him, and now you have a clear lane to the bar. <laughs> what do you do? No, let me drive right into for what? For what? Oh, are you, are you expecting him to suddenly turn into a hologram? <laughs> the fuck? That's crazy, man. Yo, salute Adam. It's crazy. Yo, like when I saw that play, it was as if I'm looking at it and I'm like, it was like Caleb was a running back trying to run somebody over, literally. Like he looked at Clever and he was like, you know what? I'm going straight through you. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Caleb, 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 man. Hey man, but we fighting right now. Um I mean, if you call that that's fighting. Time. Yeah, I mean, look, we like we was about to be get blown out by 30. So to make it 13 with a minute 16 left, if we could get a stop and score and get some momentum going into this fourth quarter, anything could happen. <laughs> You know, because this easily could have been a 30-point game right now. Um, we've been converting some things, you know, based on what I've been seeing when I came back. Is uh, Has Jimmy been a factor in the, in the, in the third quarter? Jimmy oh. ain't doing shit. Or is, it, or is, or is it just uh, K-Love, basically? K-Love? Yeah, no, not even Tyler. K -Love. Not even Tyler, it's just K-Love. Uh, yeah, K-Love, Jovic, mm. and Highsmith. Yeah. No, 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 not Highsmith, excuse me. Actually, just K-Love, really. <laughs> yeah, just really K-Love, yeah. yeah. Jimmy is, no. Yeah, no. Bam wasn't doing shit in the third quarter. Caleb doing stupid shit in the third quarter. Dude, yeah. they doing doing some kind of trick. I, I wish they stopped doing trying to do tricks to, you know, go at the ball. Just fucking dunk that shit. <laughs> Man, dunk, yeah. Man, no doubt about it. Just, just dunk. I'm I'm with you on that. Or just go strong, if anything. Like I don't know, man. This team is uh Yeah, Wavy, Miami knows what it don't matter what they do now, that like they're stuck at the eighth seed. So personally I think they're just playing each game like, yeah, whatever. Like if we win, we win. If we lose, we lose. Whatever, man. So I ain't too fussed, man. I'm just trying to get this regular season over and done with. Because <laughs> I'm sick of watching news. I'm sick of watching it. Yeah, so Lou D Master, he did pretty good. Well, wisdom like, was gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Looks like we're getting back to the action right now. Um, I see Patty Mills is in the game as Jaime Hawkes gets the rebound here. Jaime Hawkes 
He's going to skip it over to Patty Mills. Patty Mills attacks, brings it back out, gives it back to Jaime. Jaime to K-Love in the post. And K-Love got a mismatch here. And K-Love, he passes out of it to Highsmith for three. And Highsmith misses it. I thought K-Love should have just went up with that. I don't know why K-Love didn't attack that aggressively like he's been doing, you know, this season attacking mismatch. Here comes Luca now. Luca, he picks up a dribble, skips it all the way to the corner for a Josh Green, Josh Green three. He knocks it down. It's just too easy, man. That corner is wide open. <laughs> As we got Jaime taking across half court, we got 30 seconds left in this quarter, 88 to 72, heat down 16, and Jaime had the lane. He didn't take it. Now he's giving it back to K-Love, and K-Love this time, he goes up and gets a layup. That's what he should have did the first time. Maybe momentum would have got stemmed, and we wouldn't have given up that three. Here comes Luca right now with 15 seconds left. And K-Love has scored 10 points in this quarter. Heat down 14. They need to stop here for some type of momentum going into this fourth. Luca with the ball. Luca, he takes a three. Luca's off. Offense, nope. Actually, he gets the rebound. Highsmith, he throws it up. But that's after the buzzer. And the Heat's going to go down 14 into this fourth quarter, man. Let's see what the Heat got. Let's see what the Heat got, man. Did Jovic score in the third quarter? Uh, yeah, he got a uh, put back dunk. Yeah. Hmm. But it's main. It, that's what I'm saying. It's mainly been K Love, man. Jimmy's barely done shit. Bam barely did shit. Caleb was doing shit, stupid shit. Tyler was. Tyler was. Tyler. <laughs> and then still fucking Spo wanted to wait until there was what. I think seven, five to seven minutes left before he made a, a substitution. And then he only took out Bam. Like, <laughs> That's oh, crazy, gosh. man. Yeah, Spoh's definitely, again, anything we do is going to be in spite of Spoh. I don't, I don't have any beliefs in him, mm -hmm. honestly, man. He's just, what well, he's shown me this season with his stubbornness and, and not helping his team out. Um, that's just something I can't ignore, man. It's just, I don't understand, man. I mean, we got the potential to be better, but we keep playing like this and we keep being coached like this, every open corner threes. And like these teams, you know, like when they're scouting us, they know exactly what they got to do on the game plan. It's just about them hitting shots. That's it. Like they know, like they see all the gaps. They see exactly what they got to do. Where they got to attack, you know, and and it's and it's just about them hitting shots, man. We got to be better. We definitely got to be better. And that's the thing that annoys me, man. It's just like you don't even have to watch a game by game analysis. Like just literally watch the last game that we played. Yeah, and we played the exact same way the next game. Like nothing different. Maybe the names are different, but nothing different. <laughs> like, yeah, no and that's, that's my problem, man. Like, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be a great coach. You can't do nothing different. The same thing every single game. Nothing new. Oh. Nope. Nothing. We're going to have to start this fourth quarter with a bang. I say a, a quick 8-0 run and force early time out by Dallas. That's what I'm looking for, a quick 8-0 run. Need about two, three stops in a row. Need some scores. That's what I'm looking for to start off this fourth quarter. Can't be dead. <laughs> That's our plans. That's our small plan. <laughs> it's crazy, man. So uh, Draven has a question for you, Wisdom. What well, Draven say, Wisdom question, was Spoke being a Hall of Fame coach, do you think other coaches caught up to how Spoke plays the game? You don't think that's a possibility? Man, man. I think Spo. it's not that these coaches caught up. I mean, all the game plans been there. Spo's been, you know, coaching the same for years. Mm -hmm. It's just 
when the talent's not overachieving, you know what I mean? Like the role players and things like that, you really see the talent gap that we have with some of these teams. And this season, I think we have a like a absolute garbage record against the top teams of both conferences. Um, yeah. As the Dallas Mavericks, they start off the quarter here with a miss. Heisman for the rebound, no numbers, bring it back. And he gives the ball to Tyler. Tyler to K-Love. K-Love got it at the top of the key. He finds Tyler. Tyler brings it back out. They're playing do -si do here. As we got Jaime, Jaime's going to line up a three. Jaime knocks it down. That was a deep three right there for Jaime. That's a non-corner three as well. Jaime doesn't really knock down those, you know, middle threes. Heat down 11 now. And P.J. Washington, again, gets it the easiest little float shot that you'll get. I mean, he's deep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! This is an abomination I mean, of a defense, yeah, man. That's, yeah, that's pretty much how, how I've been comment, commenting in the third the third quarter, man. Like no paint presence, and then when they do actually try and defend the paint, they collapse their defense so much. It's just ridiculous. Yep, and K Love he got blocked here. It it seems like Gafford has a thousand blocks tonight. I mean, he's been blocking everybody. It's gonna be a baseline out of bounds right here for the Miami Heat. And Tyler got it. He should find K-Love. K-Love in the corner. K-Love for three. K-Love knocks it down. And the Heat bring it back down to 10. It was down 20-plus. They cut it in half with plenty of time left, y'all. Plenty of time left. Keep oh battling. Goodness. Keep fighting. And Kyrie's uh, being guarded by K-Love. Kyrie with the ball. Here comes Kyrie now. Let's see what he does. He hesitates. He gets to the lane. Left-hand layup is good. That was too easy. I mean, how are eyes not on Kyrie Irving? I don't know. I don't know where the help's at. I mean, he leaving Caleb on the island with Kyrie Irving. Good luck. And here comes Tyler. Look at Tyler stumbling. He gets bailed out with a foul call. He's not doing a good job protecting the ball on his drives. Not doing a good job protecting the ball, man. Look at Kyrie on that layup. He gets all the way to that to that left hand. And he can't even recognize it. We got a sideline out of bounds here. Here comes K Love on the inbound. He gives it off to Tyler. Let's see what Tyler does here. Tyler with a crossover move. Exum playing good defense and he strips him. Tyler just over dribbling, doing nothing. Exum strips him and PJ Washington throws the ball away. Very fortunate turn of events right there for the Miami Heat. I mean, Tyler Hero's over dribbling. Give the freaking ball up. And he's getting full court pressured right now. Absolutely no help from the Heat teammates. Everybody's going down the court. How about we pass the ball to relieve the pressure? As we got Caleb, finds Tyler. Tyler in the corner for three. Tyler high arcing three. He knocks it down. And now it's down to single digits. Just three possessions with 940 left in the ball game. Heat's battling back, but we need stops. Here comes Kyrie Irving being guarded by Highsmith. He finds P.J. P.J. throws alley-oop to Gafford. He throws it down. Absolutely zero interior paint presence. No matter what we do, bro, it, it, it's just too e – it's an NBA team, man. They're going to dominate the paint against no interior. As we got Caleb, Caleb with the ball. He gives it off to Tyler. Tyler curls to the lane. Tyler gives it off to Jaime. Jaime behind the back. Jaime spins. Jaime pump fakes. He goes up. He smokes the layup, though. And K-Love, he battling for the rebound. He get offensive rebound. Tyler, he pulls up a three. He misses it. And Highsmith keeps it alive. Ball's going to stay with the Miami Heat. It was tapped out by Kyrie Irving. And I don't get why we smoking these layups, man. Come on, Jaime. Come on, man. Look at this. It's just, it's, it's, it's such an easy, like our defense is absolutely garbage right now. And what do you think is going to happen with K-Love at the five? And K-Love on the inbounds, he catches it. He finds Tyler back door. Tyler gives it back to K-Love. K-Love deep three. K-Love is off. Battle for the rebound. Highsmith, another offensive rebound. Highsmith, he gives it off to Tyler. Tyler launches a three. Tyler knocks it down. And we get a timeout by Dallas and the heat down eight. They battling on the boards, getting second chance points, man. Getting second not, chance opportunities. Not quite an AO run. Well, actually, it's only a 9 6 run. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, 
imagine if 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 we weren't giving up them easy paint points because we got no interior presence down low just imagine exactly that would make a world of difference wouldn't it yeah and at times you know it's not like you need a great interior defender like you just need a body that's just for pure just for pure intimidation pure intimidation my god but do you want to try that no plenty of time though we definitely got to get stops and we're on this run right now i don't know i feel like spoke is gonna make some subs man and that might kill the momentum let's Wait, let me see that. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, cause you off when you said let. <laughs> oh no, I put I put myself on mute because I was getting some water. Gotcha. But yeah, let's just hope that. We don't lose any momentum when any subs that Spose thinking about doing because I know Spose he's just itching to get his main guys back out there, the same guys that haven't done a damn thing. And um, I'm watching this Orlando Milwaukee game as well. Orlando just looks absolutely god awful this past week and a half. I mean, no Giannis, no Middleton, and 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 you're getting dog walked after getting embarrassed by the Rockets. All right, let's get back into this action, man. Let's see what we can do. Down eight. Mavs off the timeout. Let's see what JK drawing up. We need to get a stop. Yeah, hit man. I mean, Spurs got nobody right now. As we're out of the break here, Luca got the ball. He's being guarded by Highsmith. Luca gives it off to Kyrie. Back to Luca. It looks like Heat's in the zone again. They love it. PJ catches in the middle. Easy work. He gets fouled and one. <laughs> Our defense sucks. No fucking paint present, bro. And it, it's it's, it's so a... hard to get hyped for the like the comeback when you know defensively it's gonna be just so demoralizing when you see Dallas get like the easiest bucket you'll see. And and this is personnel issues like the front office has got to do a better job of of getting some more interior defenders man as pj misses the free throw it's a 10 point game and k love gets ripped by gafford pj throws it up he misses it and that was going to be a foul and derrick Jones jr going to get two free throws the heat just getting outworked they're too small too little they're getting their ass whooped pathetic that's Pathetic okay. display of basketball. You want to you want to play smooth, but shut up, Spo. Shut yeah. up, Spo's over there making faces. You bitching, shut the fuck up, man. Yeah, I'm sick of Spo. He's sitting there bitching. Smooth. You want to play smooth, boy? You want to come up short, dickhead? Fuck As me out, man. Uh, Derrick Jones get the first free throw to roll in, and Spo sitting here crying to the ref and shit like that. They're I'm small, bro. They're small. The sideline, They're bro. small. They're small. They're small. Stop shining. I'm sick of seeing this dude. Yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah, but it's you know it's a heat broadcast, so they're gonna show them until they're 
until until we literally throw up, I guess. One out of two at the line for Derrick Jones Jr. Sure. Here comes Caleb Martin. And Caleb Martin with the ball. And we got no direction here on offense. Caleb Martin gives it off to Tyler. Shot clock going down. Five seconds. What are we doing here? Tyler, he picks up his dribble. One second. And it's going to be a shot clock violation. <laughs> what a pathetic team, man. No direction. Uh, Spose offense is just garbage. You know what I mean? I like, know live, man. It's garbage too, bro. Throw zone at fucking everybody thinking nobody knows how to fucking break it. No, everybody's caught on on how to break the zone, bro. <laughs> As Dallas moving the ball across the perimeter here, they're trying to find the middle guy to, to beat this zone. I don't know why we don't just play man. Luca finds Kyrie. Kyrie fades into the corner. He misses the three, and he get the rebound here. Here comes Tyler Hero. Miami, he got to get some scores here. They're down 11. Time's running out. And they got to go downhill. They're wasting too much time. It's like these motherfuckers don't know how to play with each other. And here comes Tyler. Tyler, left-hand dribble. He gets into the lane. Left-hand layup is good. And that should be a goal 10. No goaltend? That ball was on the way down, and Kyrie's attacking now. Kyrie finds Derrick Jones. Why is Jaime looking to foul? And Luca, easy blow by. He stops. He pivots away. Turnaround jumper. He knocks it down. Oh, boy. It's tough to watch this team, man. <laughs> Like these, like this particular team, like these, like the set of players, the the coach. Yeah, the balls. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, you know, Gafford has been blocking everything. So the heat keep going up weak. And, and look at Bam with the towel over his head. Some captain you are, Bam. Looking like a mopey little girl on the bench with a towel over your head. There is no leader. There's no captain who displays that type of like showing like a towel over your head and you supposed to be El Capitan, huh? This team is just is just weak from top to bottom, from the head coach to the players, they're weak. They're weak. Just got right back into the goddamn game. And we stay in small. Dumb shit. What the fuck is Kevin Love jumping? What the fuck these motherfuckers jump for? <clears throat> these are the dumbest motherfucking low IQ basketball players I've ever seen in my fucking life. This whole motherfucking NBA. These are the bunch of dumbest motherfuckers I've ever seen, bro. This, this, this just. This shit just fucking sickening, man. This is just stupid, man. Oh, God, man. It's... Yeah, I'm going to be looking out for it, Draven. Trust me, I'm going to be looking out for that. Oh, boy, oh, boy. We got right back into this ball game. Eight-point game. And, you know, no shift, no change. Yeah, I know, you know, like these dudes got momentum. And you go and for a fucking dumbass jump. Yep. Can't even get the fucking rebound. Can't even hold on to the fucking rebound. He missed the fucking shot. Yeah. <laughs> you boy, when it, when Murphy Law is motherfucking real, man. When everything go wrong, when everything can go wrong, go wrong, bro. These motherfuckers, these are the dumbest. And when it oh, rains, it pours. So dumb, man. These motherfuckers is just so dumb. I, I I just never, I never seen dumbass motherfucking basketball players make so much fucking money in my life, man. This this shit is yep. crazy, man. Yep, this the era that they want us to praise and bow down to. They keep talking about this the word skill, <laughs> but they never want to bring up IQ. They keep talking about skills. Hey, these skill bitches this, ain't skill got that. no fucking skills. These stupid motherfuckers ain't got no skills. Fuck you got skills because you can dribble. What fucking skill? And it's a bunch of over dribbling. <laughs> they just over dribbling. Oh, 
God, man. I, Kevin Love, come on, man. You've been in this fucking league too long to be this dumb, man. God damn, man. This... As as we got action oh. now, heat down 13. Patty Mills is in the game. Bam checks in the game. Jimmy's in the game. So if Spo was going to put him in. He should have put him in when the you know when the game was a little closer. Now they're in a hole again. Let's see what Jimmy does. Five seconds on the clock. Jimmy step back mid range. He knocks it down over Kyrie. Now, okay, scoring is cool. It looks good, but we need stops, y'all. And starts on the defensive end. Here comes Luca with the ball now. Luca is looking get, to see what he got. We ain't getting no stop. And Luca, he gets into the lane. He finds Derrick Jones. Derrick Jones wide open for three. He misses it. But we can't disrespect the game like that and just leave these pros wide open, man. That's that's just disrespecting the game. That's lazy defense. And we got lucky that we didn't get killed on that. Jimmy goes baseline and Jimmy turns it over because he's attacking to pass instead of attacking to score. He turns it over. And that's the 15th turnover for the Miami Heat. And they only forced five from Dallas. Here comes Kyrie and Kyrie and they call a foul. And they call a foul. Kyrie, he's just going in the traffic in no man's land. And he gets bailed out with a foul call. I'm not surprised. I'm not. And it's Kyrie um, that's initiating all the contact. He's swinging his elbow. He's doing all this dumb shit. And they call a foul. And here comes Luca. Luca, he skips it to the corner. Derrick Jones Jr. attacks. And Derrick Jones Jr. gets the layup to go. Back to a 13-point lead for Dallas. Miami Heat continues to be putrid at home, man. And here comes Bam. Bam. He's being guarded by P.J. Bam with a turnaround jumper off the glass. He bricks it. You shouldn't have had the towel over your head, man. Got to be more engaged and in tune with the game. Luca hesitation, skips it to the corner to Derrick Jones. Derrick Jones not ready to shoot. Derrick Jones, he's looking... And he almost throws it away. Kyrie with a difficult catch. He's in the corner getting hemmed up. And they're going to call out of bounds. going to stay with Dallas. And, and look at Tyler joking with, with uh, Kyrie as he's in your house kicking y'all ass. Luca inbounds it to Maxi Kleber. Back to Luca. Luca for three. Luca misses it. Highsmith with the board, no numbers. Slow down, young fella. He gives it off to Patty. Patty skips it to Jimmy. And no DeLon Wright against two dynamic guards, by the way. Classic spoke. Patty Mills corner three. Patty Mills misses it. Battle for the rebound. Bam got it. Bam to Caleb. Let's see what Caleb does here. Caleb with the shot clock going down. He dumps it down to Jimmy, and Jimmy can't handle the ball. He gets it back. Shot clock going down. He finds Caleb. Caleb with a terrible turnaround shot. Air ball. Turnover Miami Heat. This offense sucks. And Jimmy keeps fumbling the ball. He can't handle it. Can't handle it, man. His offense is putrid. We got uh, Luca. He gets the inbound. He's going to take it across half court, being guarded by Highsmith here. And now the Mavs are just going to work clock. They got no reason to rush. Their only opponent right now is the clock, not Miami. I'll tell you that right now. Easy pass in the middle to Derrick Jones Jr. He smokes it, though. And then they get the offensive rebound. Why not? Here comes Luka. Luka, he gets fouled, and he's going to get two free throws. Did absolutely nothing to deserve that call. He's barreling his way in. He throws up some garbage, and he's going to go to the line for two free throws. But you, you did this to yourself, Miami. It's your fault. It's definitely your fault, man. Why are you down 22 to begin with? And you want to scratch and claw and make it close. and Just fool's gold, man. Poor execution. Poor playing. And now we got Patty Mills out there, but not, you know, but not Nico Jovic. Spoh just discombobulated. Nothing he does makes sense. And then we got clowns like LeBron talking about he's such a genius or whatnot. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 
He's so much of a genius. I can't tell. That's how much of a genius he is. I can't tell. Here comes Caleb. Caleb jabs, attacks, barrels in. He gets the layup and no call. And pretty much the same thing that Lu uh, Luca did, even weaker, Luca gets the call. I told you, bro. And Caleb, he barrels in. I told in, you. No call. This, this 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 what this what this this it's what we go through, bro. They ain't gonna let once once they already know they got us. They ain't gonna let us. They gonna give them everything. Once they already Man. know we to shot ourselves in the foot, bro. They ain't letting us come back. Luca misses the three. Heat down thirteen. Time running out, and they gotta go here. And fuck running offense, man. Just try to score. At this point, no system, no nothing. Just put the ball in the basket. Time's running out, and. Caleb attacks again. Caleb tries I'm, I'm to this out, man. squeeze this in the layup, and that's no good. And what's the call here? They're going to call a foul. Or, okay, timeout by Dallas. Up 13, and it looked like Derrick Jones hurt his shoulder or arm. <coughs> so to answer Reaper, he asked me about any prospects. I mean – I mean, look, there's it's, it's a couple of bigs I would like, but I know Spoh's not going to, you know, or or the, he's not going to get any bigs, you know what I mean? Like, I like I like um, Ryan Cockbrenner out of Creighton. He's a, a three-time Big East Defensive Player of the Year, a seven a seven foot one, 280 pounds, and he got good feet for his size. You know what I mean? That's a late-round pick that would be good for us. I like – um Dalton Neck out of Tennessee, a six seven, six eight sniper who can handle the ball. I like him. I like um it's another player from Creighton too. It's a wing that they got over in Creighton. I can't remember his name right now. Um he's another good player that we could use. He's six eight, six nine. He got talent, he can shoot the ball. Baylor Shireman. Yep. Baylor Shireman out of Creighton. He's good. I mean, there's some, there's, you know, definitely some good players that we can get in the, you know, I don't know what pick we're going to end up getting, but it's definitely going to be some players there for us to get. But the draft is a long time away. Right now, the Heat got bigger problems right now than, than than prospects. They got coaching problems. They got player problems as well. Here comes Luca. Luca, he finds PJ. PJ to Maxi. Maxi to Kyrie. Kyrie to, to Dante. Back to Kyrie. Kyrie goes baseline. He gets an easy layup. It's like it's like he's playing against his little kids in the backyard. No resistance. He's doing absolutely anything he wants to. He got no interior defense. Here comes Tyler now. And Tyler throws it up to Jimmy. Jimmy finds Caleb. And Caleb, not ready to shoot. Shot clock going down again. Is a theme of Miami's offense. Shot clock going down. Now we got to take a dumb shot. And Tyler Hero, he misses the jumper. Rebound PJ. He gives it off to Luca. Luca's racing down the court. He finds Kyrie. Kyrie brings it back out. He gives it to Luca. Heat down 15, and it's looking like another loss to Dallas and another home loss. And Luca pump fakes, he attacks, he spins, and they call Luca for offensive foul. Man. Yeah, when it don't mean nothing. He been doing that shit all game. Now it don't mean nothing. Now they make it look good. As we're gonna get an inbound here is Jimmy inbounding the Tyler. He gives it back to Jimmy. He only got two minutes left. 
Uh, it don't look like they're going to have enough time to drop down this 15-point lead. They had their chances. It's Tyler. He throws it out of bounds. And now Jimmy's limping. It just goes from bad to worse for the Miami Heat, man. When it rains, it pours. And now Jimmy's limping now. 18 turnovers for the Miami Heat. Absolutely future performance. You can't get to 100 in 2024. Spoles putting Jaime in the game. I don't even know why. As, as the Mavs have completely emptied their bench. As, as, as we got Oliver Maxson's Prosper out of Marquette. He knocks down a jumper, extends the lead to 17. Mavericks on a 13-4 run, which means the Miami Heat have only been able to score four points in almost eight minutes of game action. Pathetic. And Prosper... He goes coast to coast. He gets a dunk and spoke off timeout. <laughs> oh, man. This is one of those things where, yeah, Reaper, I think um, Carlton Carrington, that's out of Pittsburgh, right? Yeah, I like Carrington. Yeah, I like Carrington. There's a lot of prospects I like. Um, now, are they going to translate to the league? I don't, I don't know because you know how tricky that be, but. You know, let's see. Let's see what happens. I mean, and 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 no one Spo is. It's not like Spo plays these guys anyways, right? So it doesn't even matter to be real. You know, a rookie really gotta really stand out in order to get playing time um, from Spo. So, um, just a tough game to uh, tonight, y'all. Just a tough game to watch. I know a lot of y'all not surprised based on how the season has been going, but. You know, it's still it's still very frustrating to to look at. Nonetheless, you want the team to do good. I mean, you know, it's a team that you're rooting for, so you want them to do good. But when you're looking at the players and the coaching, it's just not good enough. Um, it's just not good enough. And since March seventh, Dallas has had the best record in the NBA. They're fifteen and two across. 17 games they're gonna make it 16 and two and they're just playing great basketball they're laughing in miami right now all the coaches are laughing they're joking around and uh you know it's patty mills drives patty mills gets a layup that was an old lay you know dallas gave us a little parting gift right there on that layup it's just uh it's just you know an embarrassment right now just an embarrassment by the Miami Heat. As Kane, Kane colder than a block of ice. He couldn't even get a rebound. That's how cold he is. Ball just goes out of bounds. That's just, that's the night for the Miami Heat. Nothing easy at all. Ball right there, can't even get it. Out of bounds, stays with Dallas. And Dallas don't even want to play no more. And they're, and they're, and they're just still getting all, all, the, all the bounces still. That's what happens. You know what I mean? Like when you play hard and, you get it done. They call offensive foul right here on Jaden Hardy. And Alondis Williams in the game. Obviously, he emptied the bench. He emptied the bench, so. Let's see. You know what I mean? Let's see what these young guys got. Alondis smokes a layup there. Jaden Hardy running in transition. And he's able to find, um, I believe that's, I believe that's Brandon Williams. Yeah, that was Brandon Williams for the layup. And that's going to end the game, y'all. Miami Heat is going to lose to Dallas, 111 to 92. They made this an eight-point game, but they end up losing by 19. Stands are empty. Fans left. They're trying to beat beat traffic, and I can't blame them. Why would a fan want to, you know, want to sit here and and look at this pathetic performance and look at Tyler? Look at all of them. Look at all of them. They can't wait to go clap people up and say and say good game. They can't wait, man. Just too easy, man. Just just too easy. This team 
not enough fight and not enough IQ from from top to bottom. Coach players, not enough IQ. We got down by eight, and he need put Jovic back in the game. Yep. <laughs> I back down. He didn't put you open again. He put Patty Mills before he put you open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God, man. <laughs> this motherfucker, man. I tell you. <laughs> no doubt about it. Yeah, smoke. It's both trolling like a motherfucker, boy. That motherfucker trolling like a bitch, boy. He, he don't give a fuck. He hear all that shit. He gonna purposely do. He gonna purposely do shit, man. He don't give a fuck, man. Yeah, you know, Draven. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, man. After every game, man, they just can't wait to go hug it out with the opposing team. And I understand sportsmanship, but there's times to do it, and times where you just get your ass off the court. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you're not playing good basketball, especially at home, and you letting the home crowd down. Matter of fact, you let yourself down. And you, after the game, the team done kick your ass on your, on your home court, and you just can't wait to go <coughs> hug it up and go laugh. I mean, that, that just shows that you don't take this shit serious. It doesn't hurt enough. It doesn't hurt enough. I'd be so disgusted I'm off the court. I'll send a text message or some shit, be like, hey, man, you know what I mean? Good game. Or something like that after I cool off, but I'd be so pissed at losing. I mean, I just it is it is what it is, you know. Everybody's different. So you know, you know, Jimmy losing a ball. I mean, I guess I guess I guess the you know, him and Bam, they shared a whole bottle of Crisco together before the game. You know, what I mean, they they just say, Hey, you know, Jimmy asked Bam, hey Bam, where you kept that Crisco at? I need some because Jimmy couldn't hold on to the ball. He couldn't catch. He couldn't do anything tonight. Um, but my count, last seven losses, I've seen he hug it out and call it. Yeah, of course. Of course. You know what I mean? You know, uh, they're going to hug it out and they're going to call it sportsmanship. To me, sportsmanship is, okay, if you're going to shake hands, <laughs> at least be serious and just shake and go. But you hugging and laughing? <laughs> I guess, man, this, you know, this is the time that we in. So what can I say? Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to talk to anyone, Reaper, because you got to care about winning or losing. You know what I'm saying? Like a loss hurts, you know, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, if we're going to do anything this season. It's uh, going to be in spite of Spo, like I've been saying. Dudes are going to have to step up and play ball. Because remember, that's what it's been every playoff run. You know, it's been guys stepping up and making plays. Because every playoff run, I was still pulling out my hair with the decisions. You know what I mean? Like we just so happened to hit shots and guys stepped up. You know what I mean? It's, it's not like we was getting clean wins, you know what I mean? Like, we had to win in spite of Spo going small, dudes battling for rebounds. and it is, it is what it is. But to expand on what Reaper was talking about with the draft, um, you know, there's a couple of players. Like, if the dude from Illinois, Terrence Shannon Jr., if he falls in the draft, I would, I would pick him up if I'm Miami. Um, a six six, you know, player, you know, that can score and play defense. I would take McCullough. I would take McCullough from Kansas. You know, I like him. Um who else? Oh, the point guard from Marquette. You know, what I mean like he's a big east player. I know, I know, I know the heat like you know, guys from the big east. Um, damn, like what's that point guard from um the point guard from Mar uh, Marquette, uh, Kolick, Kolick, Tyler Kolick. I like him as a point guard. I like Dayron Holmes from Dayton. 
I like Dayron Holmes. Man, it's a lot of players, man. I'm telling you, it's it's it's, it's a lot of players that could come help. I appreciate it, uh, Melvin. I mean, I guess I guess Jermaine, you got your um, you know, like your wish. You feel me? We struggled and 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 we lost. I mean, I guess I guess you could be happy about it. You was right, bro. Now you know. Now you could be happy that your team struggled, bro, or your or or, or a player on your team struggled. You was right. Hey, I like gamers' idea. We need you, D, to come back. <laughs> we need nah, you, I, D, back, bro. I, mean, I don't know why you'd be proud about being right when, when, if 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 Tyler struggles, your your quote unquote team struggles. So I wouldn't even want to be right. But again, everybody's different with their fandom. I already know how Heat fans are. My whole life, I've I've dealt with it. Even inside, even inside the household, growing up, any 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 little thing, they off the boat. Then once it start going good, they want you to throw a raft so they could come right back up. So it is what it is. I'm used to it. We'll keep fighting though to the bloody end. We just in the play in now. It is it is it is what it is. <sighs> yeah, Man. shout out to uh to D Master holding it down. No doubt about it. Shout yeah. out to D Master. Good job, yeah, definitely. My bad. Good job, D Master. <laughs> uh I ain't even gonna do the last two, bro. I'm just waiting till wait till the motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, at this point, man, man. <laughs> hurry up and end the season. Bro. I ain't, I ain't even, I ain't even in the mood. I you swear to God, God, I ain't even in the mood to do it. You love talk this so week. much about getting into the playoffs. All right, cool. Now, now you got to actually shut up and prove it. No more excuses. No more. Oh, this guy. It, no, no, none of that. You know, I'm gonna try, try to, I'm gonna try to do it on on uh, playback. Now I can't um I don't have the because I don't have NBA that that you know the N NBA TV package where you can pull it up and watch the game live. Oh playback, excuse me, y'all. I'ma just see. I'ma see if I now if you want to do it, we, we can try that. We can try it. Um when we play Friday. Yeah, we yeah, we can so. try that. Just, just see over there, because I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying my Patreon. I'm trying, uh, cause I'm gonna be start doing a lot on Patreon, man. YouTube, just, I don't know what the fuck's going on with YouTube, man. You, YouTube, really fucking tripping, man. They, 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 they really is. So Damn, I'm, I'm really. Try. That's that's crazy, Jermaine. Damn, we're not gonna beat Philly, Atlanta, or Chicago, huh? Damn, that's 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 crazy, Jermaine. Man, get crazy. your get your ass out here, man. Get the fuck out of here. I ain't got time for your stupid ass. Get twenty four. Get twenty four hours time out, bro. I I I I I take you out of motherfucking time out after twenty four hours. Now I ain't got time for you stupid motherfuckers. Go get another team, nigga. Come over here with that bullshit, you stupid motherfuckers. Go get another team. You got twenty nine other team, motherfucker. You got nothing positive to say about nothing. Go the fuck get another team. Man, pick one. You got 29 other. Fuck out of here with that dumb shit, bro. I told you, you motherfuckers become annoying. <laughs> this stupid shit just to get attention. Get the fuck out of here, man. Ungrateful ass motherfuckers. You the motherfuckers I hate the most. It's fucking ungrateful, man. Stupid ass motherfuckers, man. God damn. Look at that dumb shit. Shit annoying, bro. And when I let his ass out, I'm I'm gonna see how much he really hate Miami, motherfucker. If it if it turned out to be Sixers, put your money up, bitch. Put your money up since you are since you're gonna be a sixer or, or who, who the teams he named? Atlanta, 
Um, the six is Atlanta and. Um, okay. Well, make sure you come back when I when I unblock your ass tomorrow. Chicago. Make sure you put your motherfucking money up, nigga. Wait, That's he said. Six Atlanta, up. Chicago. Yeah, six Atlanta and Chicago. That's what he said. Yeah. Stupid motherfuckers. Make sure you put your money up. Let's see. Let's see how much you really. See how much you really not trolling. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, E. Yeah. Yeah. See, see how much you really trolling, motherfucker. Y'all motherfuckers annoying, man. All you dumb motherfucking fake ass Miami Heat fans, bro. Wait, he said he a Heat fan? He's supposed to be. I don't think he a Heat fan. Stupid. No, nah, he a Heat fan. I remember Jermaine. He always said that shit. This dumbass motherfucker. Go over there with the basement boy. Them stupid motherfuckers over there. Another one. They only when 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 Miami win. Nah, Go not even. Nah, not even. Yo, I've I mean, I've been on there when the Heat won, and they look depressed, and they talking shit. They they. And then if you if you didn't know better, you think Miami lost if, if you go there after a heat win sometimes. Man, them them, you know, them over That's there, true man. Too. See, That's them, true. You know, That's true. You know, even I had I've been over there, <laughs> yep. I've been over there after Miami win. They they always got something, ain't got nothing good to say about Tyler. Oh no, no. Uh, uh, Tyler can have a hundred points. Especially the girl, her dumb ass. Just ungrateful, uh, bro. Yeah, Jermaine will be perfect over there Jimmy, at the Jimmy, basement. Jimmy, the motherfucker without Jimmy, we wouldn't even win no goddamn Eastern Conference Finals or Finals. Bunch of dumbass motherfuckers. Yep. I can't stand a bunch of ungrateful ass motherfuckers, man. But that's it. Can't you know, that's name our me two teams is. that did what Jimmy did. Motherfucker, name two teams. East or West did what the fuck Jimmy did. Well, what the fuck Jimmy had? The stupid ass. And and this with a, a bunch coach of ungrateful ass. Clown. And with a coach that's in that's constantly uh, in and with a dumbass mode. coach. <laughs> fuck out of here, oh, man. Oh man. I got yeah, time for that dumbass shit. Just all you motherfuckers have your money ready. That's how I shut you bitches up from trolling. Have your money ready. And I'm still going to cuss Spo out and the team out. Have your motherfucking money ready, motherfuckers. And this all goes back to what Tim Hardaway saying with, with UD and Mike Miller. It was asking him about this, this current Heat team. And Tim Hardaway said that they pass the ball too much. They too unselfish. And every time you look at his play, we're unsure about ourselves offensively. For some reason, I don't know what's going on. I guess it starts from the top. You know what I mean? Like, if yeah, Jimmy Jimmy's in pass shit. mode. Yeah. Motherfucker be right under the basket and fucking pass it. Yeah. It's, it's tough. That's I mean, tough. Heisman did that shit. He did that shit today. He was right under it. He could have dunked it, and he gave it to um, Jimmy, and Jimmy missed that shit. Oh. And Spo, Spo got to do a better job of Girl, shout you know, out. getting some better plays. Man, fuck Spo. Fuck Spo, man. Fuck Spo. That's where I'm at right now. Fuck Spo. Tell each truth, show, show me different. Fuck that motherfucker. He brought and paid for. Him. That's my mentality of him. Until he fucking show me different. Fuck him. That motherfucker brought and paid for. That's why I say Eric Spoelstra is brought and paid for by the gambling people. My opinion. <laughs> the legend. Whatever the fuck you want to put, oh, whatever boy. legal term you want to put it. Yeah, I yes. can't even blame Stupid the players because shit. with his rotation, the way they're playing, it really is his fault. Because if they're tired as fuck and he's not changing shit, I really can't blame none of them. 
Yeah, can't even give the motherfucker. Can't even sit down. You just, come on, man. About to want to hear that old conditioning shit, motherfucker. They're human. Fuck, you think they're robots? <coughs> Fuck, is you talking about? Let me see something. Let me look at the box score real quick. So Jovic for some. So okay, here it goes. Right. So. Jimmy played 36 minutes after the double overtime where he played, what, like 48 combined minutes. Jovic, the younger kid, 20, played a great game. You only gave him 24 minutes. Okay, cool. So you gave him 24 minutes. Um, You gave no minutes to Thomas Bryant. No minutes to DeLon Wright. Wow. And it's here's so the worst part him. about it. Off a back to fuck. Off a double double overtime back to back. And here's the worst part about it. The two main problems from Dallas that we received tonight was from their two guards. I believe and got, it. Adam. And we got a great defender on there just rotting on the bench. He can't he just bowl. And you know who he puts in? So the long right plays a good game yesterday. Spo had Patty Mills frozen on the bench, ice block. And you know what he does against the toughest guard matchups? He puts <clears> Patty <throat> Mills in there, and he doesn't put the lawn. <laughs> so when you need the lawn, you don't use them. You don't need Patty Mills. You use them. Oh man, it just—it's—it's it's almost becoming like comical right now. With Spo and, and, and how yeah, he handles his rotation. Yeah, it's time for Pat Riley to go ahead and get the fuck out there because he ain't doing nothing. He ain't he ain't making Spo do shit. And 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 he, he just up up there looking like he just just dead. It, it, it's time for him to <laughs> retire, bro. Really. I mean they are not ain't no discipline, ain't nothing. Ain't nothing changing. Ain't ain't nothing, man. So just get the fuck on, man. Just move the fuck on. Yeah, because he already laid the foundation. So all you got to do is just bring somebody up to keep the culture going. But, you know, maybe, you know what I mean, like your time passed. But we'll talk about that type of stuff, like, depending on what happened at what point of the playoffs. You know what I mean? Because we still got a, a a mountain to climb. Whoever, you know what I mean, like whoever's ready for the ride, you know what I mean, like whether it's two fans, three fans, however many fans, we still got a war that we got to prepare for. You know what I'm saying? Um it might be like how it was in the Game of Thrones when Jon Snow pulled out his sword and he seen a thousand horses coming his way. He had nobody behind him. You know, it is it is what it is because, you know, I don't a lot want, of the fans I don't want, are going to jump shit. I don't want none of them motherfuckers behind me. Yeah. I turn the gun on every last one of them motherfuckers. Knife, swords, <laughs> what the fuck ever. I turn on. I don't want them bitches behind me. Oh, we going this shit alone. Fuck them. I want them motherfucking pretending. As soon as they see Miami win, start whipping asses. Everybody make like, oh, I told you, boy, that the he called. Shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> I don't want to hear that shit. Yep. He got it. I don't want to hear that shit, bro. Yeah, it's it, it, it just clear, like, three for 13. Come on, man. Like, why, why are you forcing these dudes, man? It's, it's clear. Now, I know Bam didn't struggle, but three for 13, can't even hit the rim on a, on a layup? Man. Come on, man. Bam, Bam, <laughs> ain't even, man. Bam ain't had no legs under him, bro. Bam ain't had shit under him, bro. Bam he got to switch every play. Him. He got to guard the perimeter. He got to chase... I don't know, man. This is just you can't give Thomas Bryant one and second. Spoh don't give a fuck if he dropped. Spoh wouldn't give a fuck if he dropped right, this faint right in the middle of the floor. Spoh wouldn't give a fuck. He would try to put him back in the game. He probably would. I don't doubt it. This stupid motherfucker, man. This dumb shit. Shit just dumb, man. 
shit annoying. It, it, it's more annoying than 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 anything. Like I said, it's just it's just annoying, man. Like I said, every game we needed, we lost. Bullshit. Told you, man. And so we already see we already see what the playoffs is gonna be. It's gonna be about six motherfucking man rotation. No more than seven. That's it. He don't give a fuck if they drop dead. That's why I'm almost I'm almost wishing Bam and Jimmy, uh, uh, uh Kevin Love, Kate up all of them get hurt. I wish all them motherfuckers get hurt and can't play. I gave up. <laughs> all of them. All of them. I ain't even gonna lie. And I'm not. I'm not laughing. I'm not bullshitting. I'm not bullshitting you, bro. Make that bitch look stupid. Make him look. Make him do something he he do not want to do. And I'm not fucking playing. No, I ain't slowing down, man. I'm not slowing down. Fuck spo. I'm not slowing down. I mean every motherfucking word I say. Cause it would irk the fuck out of him that he got that he have to play them. It would irk him. It would eat that bitch alive. It would eat his ass alive that he have to play him, and that's what I want. Make sure his ass get eaten alive by his fucking guilt. Stupid motherfucker. And I'm not joking, bro. You give a fuck? They get blown out, swept. I don't give a fuck. Stupid ass motherfucking guy, man. The same old dumb ass bullshit. You see Jimmy fucking limp off. Can't make this shit up, bro. Cannot make this motherfucking shit up, man. Damn, boy, this nigga pissed me off, man. This nigga just irked the fuck out of me, man. Yeah, and, and and what makes it more difficult as, you know what I mean, we watching the game and, and we seeing the team battle back, you just know that we was too small defensively that the Mavs were going to counter and they would just get an easy inside look, easy inside look. Um, Spoles just don't even give us a chance to fight, man. Just You could put K-Love at the four, man. Come on, ain't nobody saying don't play K-Love. We see K-Love playing great basketball. I mean, shit, like he had a double-double and he didn't even play 20 minutes. He played a great game. But put him at the four. Give him some help so he can fight down there. Because he'll do a good job boxing out. And then it's the other dudes that come in who's bigger. You know what I mean? Then, then you know, then, you know, it's K-Love who's 6'10 at the five. Yeah, he's strong and all that, but he's still 6'10. And he could barely jump over a credit card. Now he got good fundamentals. He, he box out. But now the power forward is Caleb at 6'5. What you want Caleb to do going up against, you know what I mean? Dallas got some aggressive, aggressive dudes like P.J. Washington that they got from Charlotte. We can say whatever we want about him. Now, he's in a new environment. Now, he's going to the playoffs. He's 6'10 at the four. You know what I'm saying? So, and they That's got the dude. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They kept, they kept three or four guys out there that 6'10 or tall. Yep. This motherfucker, man. Oh, this, this nigga... Man, this motherfucker disgusting, man. This dude is fucking disgusting, man. <sighs> yeah, they ain't gonna call him out on it, too. You know what I mean? They're gonna ask him, Spo, so what happened today? Was it the legs? <laughs> they just asked Spo these dumbass questions and just let him off the hook, man. No they would have fired me the question. first day. I would have lost my 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 um my press pass. I would have got fired the first night. Oh, I already know I would have got fired. Yeah, E. 
it, it, it just, I don't even know. At this point, it ain't even about stubbornness, man. It's just about he, 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 he at this point now where he that dumb, he really think doing the same thing is going to come with a different result, man. I, I I don't I don't even I'm I ain't even I don't even want to say stubborn no more, bro. I'm I, I told y'all I'm at the point that motherfucker brought in pain for man. I'm at the point he brought in pain for, bro. I don't give a fuck what the outcome is. I really think spoiling them. I think them motherfucker brought in pain for me, man. Seriously. This shit, this shit is just, this shit is so fucking sickening, man. And it's starting to look like Jimmy, you know, Jimmy is looking like a player that sees, you know, all, all four corners of the wall starting to close in on him now. You know what I mean? He's done so much since he's came here to help elevate the team. But at some point, you know what I'm saying, it, it, you can't always, I mean, look, man. Um, you know, like whatever it's Spo, Pat Riley, whoever it is, just haven't done a good enough job of, you know, helping Jimmy out in terms of not stars. I'm not, I'm not talking about stars and all that overrated shit, but just some big bodies, man. You know what I mean? Like there was a, a couple of cheap free agents these past four or five seasons with Jimmy that we could have picked up. You know what I mean? Like a guy like Hardenstein and all them dudes. Cheap guys. Cheap guys. They don't cost you nothing. And we sitting here. Okay, cool. You, okay, so like, so you want to draft dudes from the G League. But you're not even playing Orlando in them. So you're not signing nobody. And you're not playing the dudes that you, you know, picked up. So what are you doing? Spo got this obsession with, with, with this small ball... Well, everybody else is starting to go away from that now. Like, there's only, okay, the Warriors. I mean, that's just one team, man, that, you know, everybody else, they, man, they kicking your ass down low, man. You know what I'm saying? So, this is just, it's just tough to deal with as a fan, man. Like, you feel so drained watching this team, and I feel so confused. I like, because I, I know this team's better than this. But I'm confused, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm confused by what I'm seeing. Um, dudes look like they never played a game together in their whole life. Like they just cobbled this team together and just threw them out on the court and told them to go figure it out. That's how they play. Spo run the same yeah. offensive sets, the same little off-ball screens. and the, It's all predictable, man. It's all predictable. Small fucker, man. I don't know. I don't. I don't see nothing. He gonna change. I don't see nothing. He gonna change, bro. I don't, I don't see nothing. He gonna change. Only thing I see again. Winning in spite of, because Jimmy, yep. you know Jimmy Bam and all the motherfuckers, they hear they hear the shit, they hear the talk, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not I'm not I'm not looking I'm not looking for them motherfuckers. To, I'm not looking for Spo to do shit. I'm just looking for them uh, Jimmy and them to say, yeah, okay, now it's playoff time, and we we you know we heard the talk. That's it. I ain't looking for Spo to do shit. And if we come up short, we come up motherfucking short. It is what it is, bro. It is what the fuck it is, man. That's that's what I'm looking. I ain't looking for sport to do shit. I ain't looking for that motherfucker to do shit because it, it playoff, it play in playoff, whatever, wherever we at. I'm I'm looking for him to do what the fuck he been doing, the dumb shit, the fucking dumb shit. And ain't nobody calling this motherfucker out. Ain't nobody calling him out. Now, I, I ain't going to say that because I don't know what they're saying down in, in Miami. Here's the worst thing about it. Um, man, we don't need no motherfucking superstars, man. Y'all cut that old. I don't want to hear that shit. We don't need no motherfucking superstars. Like, we don't need no what, fucking uh, superstars. 
like what Draven just said, Spo, he's so stubborn, he can't fix the problem because he don't even want to realize there is a problem. Now, remember, you made a stream, Unc, because you were shocked about Spo. I forgot which game it was that made Spo admit that he was making a mistake with, with you know, small ball. Um, and then it was to the point where Spo actually admitted it in the post game. Yeah. Like something he never did. I think it yeah. was our Celtics game where we came up short. Yeah. Okay. I, okay. After, that, after, yeah. Okay. After the Boston game. And then, so he just lied then. Because he That's went right he back did. to it and never looked back. Yeah. Because yeah. The, very next, the very next game, I forgot who we played, but the very next game after that Celtics game, he went back to Smobile. And I even said, I even said it. I was like, "Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it." Like, because <laughs> you're not gonna fix, you're not gonna change nothing. Like, we we know you. You're not gonna change nothing. You're gonna do the same shit. Leave K Love at the five, or Nico at the five, and expect them to handle themselves. And then, if they do, a, yeah, if we win the game, yeah. See, that's what I was telling you. But then, if we lose, oh well, they just gotta get used to it. And then, let's shut up. Shut up. <laughs> That's why I don't listen to him post game no more, man. He just, it's just, it's just, it's the same answers, same shit. Doesn't matter if we win or lose, like. It's, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, and the it's heat. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, we gotta take off them, them heat culture jerseys and shit like that. We two and eleven with them heat culture jerseys. It was the same thing with that Miami Vice shit. Yo, stop all this wanna be pretty bullshit and all this. Hey, I'm gonna talk about my nah. We talking about it too much now. We just need to, to, yeah. to show it like we've been showing. Everybody knows we got the culture. Now we trying to put quotes on the court, and now we got the quote on our home court. And this been one of our most trash home seasons this year. We yeah. doing to it. Just, just shut up and show it, bro. All this talking, all this, ah, uh, uh, we the most conditioned and well, you beating the players to the ground. That's why we injured every damn year. Exactly. The military practices and shit. Exactly. And even the ex players already exposed this already now. You know I mean? <laughs> yep. They always show respect to the culture, but they say one thing is they're going to grind you down, though. They give yep. you knee pads in practice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh it's crazy, boy! Man. Got it's time to change. You still can have that meanest and toughest, but you put the meanest and toughest out there on the fucking court, not to your own people. Exactly. Yeah, it's a new day now, man. These dudes ain't freaking come on. Now. This ain't the old days where 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 you know dudes was grown men at the age of eighteen, basically back in the day, man. This is a whole new time now, man. You gotta. Adjust, adjust with the time. Now it's more about recovery now, man, because of how this league is up and down. You know, that's why these dudes get hurt now. They took away the big man, so now it's just an arcade game, a whole bunch of threes, a whole bunch of up and down, a whole bunch of open court, and that's yep. why these dudes getting hurt. So now it's all about resting and recovering now. You can't play an NBA game up and down. And now you got to have the hardest practice in the NBA. Because I know Miami Heat got the hardest practices. Everybody talks about that shit, even the ex-players. So, I mean. What's up, John Wick? It's to the point. I forgot who said it. It's to the point where it was like, man, they used to like when it was like a week of games. Because, you know, like when there's a week of games, they don't practice. And I mean, like, <laughs> they just right. do a walkthrough. So they said, man, I used to love the back the backs because that means that we ain't have to practice. <laughs> I think exactly. I think it was Byron Scott. Yeah. Byron Scott. He was talking about um, you know, those days with Pat Riley in, in the Lakers. Cause you know it all starts with Pat Riley with them practices. And um, man, he was like, Man, I used to love the back to backs because we ain't practice. You know what I mean? So that and that tells you a lot about how demanding and, and 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 i respect it i respect it you know what i mean it's got us to where we are today as a, as an organization i respect it but you gotta have some tweaks and adjustments too now you can't run your dudes to the ground <laughs> I mean, damn 
Oh man. Shit is crazy, bro. I said over and over, man. It's it's, it's nothing worse than, than really beating yourself. And we and we show that they're not as tough as they, they think they is. When we finally got in our rhythm, we finally got our defensive mind together. We shut down Kyrie. We put a hold on fucking Luca, and we started making shots. But then we do the greatest thing Miami does to itself. He said, man, fuck this pointing a gun at them. Give me this motherfucking gun. Put it right at the feet and pull the trigger. And ever since fucking Kevin Love did that stupid ass went for the fucking fake. We, it went down here from there. We was down eight points before that. What's his name? PJ? RJ? What's his name? PJ Marshall. Washington. Yep. He went for you, you 610 too, uh, uh, Kevin Love. What the fuck are you jumping for? What, what what are you jumping for? Is 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 just is is and ever since then, shout out shout out to nephew three thousand. Appreciate you nephew for the re up man membership man renew of the membership nephew three thousand. Shout out to you my brother. Shout out to you yes sir man. I appreciate you. Everything is all right. What you jump for, bro? Then then he missed the he missed the and one. And you let the motherfucker take the ball from you. And it went downhill from there. It went down fucking hill from there. Shit is, 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 is crazy, bro. It's crazy. Sixes beat Orlando next. Sixes beat Orlando next. Sixers get out the plan. They also own Tybrick. He played Orlando. Oh, he's talking about the scenarios. Let me see. So, so what? Who, who, who did what? Who's man? It, it's just dumb, man. I, I don't. <laughs> Son, you can't make this shit up. I swear every time I think about it, this motherfucker, man, you can tell me Spoon ain't brought paid for, man. Every time I think about this motherfucker, man, I just got to laugh, bro. This, this dude, yeah. man. Yep, and then, you know what I mean? He got the nerve to this, be on the sideline. Uh-uh, it's theatrics. You know, I mean, like he want to, you know, talk to the refs on the sideline. Like, come on, this bro, guy, stop, stop crying for a foul, man. I mean, like, you got a whole bunch of midgets out there, and they got about six ten and six eleven. Of course, they're gonna out rebound you, man. Stop it, man. Motherfucker crying for for um for a loose ball foul. It's like, come on, sport, man. Just <laughs> ain't nothing you can do but laugh. It's it's. And you laugh when you're at a low point because that's all you can do to really right. hide the pain. Because it's really pain because the team is better than this, man. The team is better than this. It's Way just, better. Way yeah, better. Yeah. Way it, fucking it, better. Just, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not being done justice, man. The team ain't being done justice, man. The coach not helping them. The coach is not helping them. Put them in a tough situations that they gotta try to, you know break out of and make things happen, man. Uh, it's tough, man. It's tough, man. How the hell you DMP DeLon and Thomas, man? They playing good basketball for you, and they got fresh legs, and they can run up and down. Man, Thomas Bryant was playing physical, man, getting rebounds. Can't make it up, bro. Hitting threes. He doing everything we need. And playing good. And scoring. And, and, scoring. Yeah, and scoring, yeah. So, man, whatever, man. It is what it is, man. Um, Spoke got an eight-year contract, so, I mean, 
That's all just loyalty. That's just loyalty shit. Motherfuckers just gonna be loyal because we already know how we do it already. You know what I mean? The first sign of anything, we gave Dion and James Johnson, we gave them the boat, the whole boat before anything. So, yep. Yeah, no, that's how you know, you know how we get down. It is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. They want to yeah, give Spoke sure. credit for every little thing. Every little thing. Like, it's not a whole bunch of dudes staying up late night looking at all these players from all across the world trying to see who could fit, the, you know, fit the system. They give Spoke all the credit for every little success of the team, bro. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. You know what I mean? Who's staying late working on the guys getting shots? It ain't Spoke. Spoke just watching. Or Spo in his office watching tape. I mean, it is what it is, man. We just gonna have to deal with it. We gonna be in the play. Yeah, I mean, at the point, I'm just, hey man, just get the plan ready, man. Do what we gotta do. We just can't get no rest. The only way we can get a day or two rest, we got to win the first. We got to win the first game. Yeah, so if, if, if we win, so like, so we the seventh seed basically. Well, we, yeah, if we win, we win the first game, we go seventh seed. Yeah, okay. we seventh seed. Yeah, yeah, all right, man. And yeah. here's the crazy thing that nah, ain't gonna happen, but th- this is this is why I get on these, these haters, man. <laughs> and why I get on the haters too, and I laugh. Now, we know how bad Miami played. We know what Miami did. Yeah. You know, and and, and just the ridiculous shit that we cuss us for out and everything. Orlando lose these next two games. Sixers lose these next two games. Pacers lose these next two games. We win these next two games. We in six seed. <laughs> <laughs> Now, of course, you know. Yeah, that's a lot of losing. It's, it's, it's a game. <laughs> well, no, no, well, no. We win two, and Sixers only need to lose one. And, okay. Um, we because we beat the tower. We break the tower. We beat the tower with them, and we beat the tower with. We break the tower with us and 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 um, uh, Magic. We yeah. break the tower with us and Magic, right? So, <laughs> is. You you know we I'm I ain't no I ain't, I'm pissed I ain't, ain't nothing gonna turn this pissed off around I am a spoil and them motherfuckers, but it, it's just funny that to wake up to after Sunday and to find and these haters <laughs> these motherfucking haters find out that Miami in the fifth sixty. <laughs> Yeah, let me check this out because I know yeah. we're playing Toronto back to back in Canada. Right. So we right. got to take and we ain't gonna win both of them. We ain't no, 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 no. Actually, it's in it's, it's it's at home. I'm tripping. It's at home. I know. Yeah, it's at home. Yeah, both okay. of them at home. Okay. But Miami gonna find a way to fuck up, bro. I mean, I'm, I'm at this point. I ain't, I ain't shocked to probably, but I'm just putting the scenario out there. We win yeah. both of them. Sixers lose one of them. Sixers lose one of them, mm-hmm. right? Uh, Pacers lose both of them, and and Magic got to lose both of them because Magic just lost again tonight. Yeah, they just yeah, lost, they lost again lost. tonight. Mm-hmm. So if they yeah. do, if they lose these lads, we end up in the sixth seed. <laughs> Boy, that gonna make these motherfucking haters so bad. That shit gonna be so funny. That shit gonna be so motherfucking funny, man. I swear to God. Now, do I think, yep. do I think it's gonna happen? No. No. But it could happen though. It's it's, it's just we, the fact just that it a, could happen. Just knowing that it could happen. <laughs> just knowing that it could happen. You know, and the and the joy that it could bring. Just watch watching the haters' face. <laughs> yeah, they'll be sick over that. <laughs> <laughs> them motherfuckers gonna commit sideways, Ed Darrell, Ed Darrell. Them motherfuckers gonna commit sideways, man. <laughs> but it shows you, even though it's our team and we playing bad, it goes to show you how the rest of the teams is playing bad. 
Because as bad as we playing, we still only two motherfucking games in actuality out of fucking six seed. As bad as we've been playing all fifth year. seed too. Oh, there is a possibility. I think fifth seed. <laughs> I think it's a possibility of fifth seed because of the fact that uh, uh, with with um with Orlando and with uh, 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 Sixers, we 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 win the tie break. Yeah. So it's is a, is a, it might be 98, 98 to two. We might got a two percent chance of it happening, but the, like you say, just the fact that there is a possibility. <laughs> yeah. You know. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> because we we as long as um what what really kept us in, what really kept us in was the fact that we beat Atlanta. <clears throat> yeah. Because the last four games we could only give up one of them games to be. You know, we can't give up two. If we gave up, if we give up two, then we, then no matter what, we, 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 eighth seed, seventh seed, locked in. But the fact that we won, came back and won yesterday, even in overtime, now we, we could only, the four, we can only give up one. But again, uh, Magic got to lose out. Uh, Pacers got to lose the last two. What did they play yet? No, they ain't play yet. Do they got three? I think they got three games. No, they got two. They play Cleveland and Atlanta. That's their last two games. Cleveland and Atlanta. Who was that? Atlanta. Who, who Indiana. Was that? Okay. Indiana got two. Okay. Yeah. Cleveland. Okay. So that's a possibility they could lose. But just say they lose them two. Then who Sixers got? The Sixers, they got uh, Orlando and Brooklyn, I think. Yeah, Orlando and Brooklyn. Okay. Let's say they beat Orlando, right? Because we want them to beat Orlando. Yeah. But we only need Sixers to lose one. Yeah. So if I'm if I'm going to pick the one that it's I want to lose, I, I yeah. would rather Brooklyn to upset them. You feel me? Yeah. Because that, with, with, with Magic, that'll help us with Magic. Yeah. Right? So Magic lose that, and Magic lose to Cleveland. Yep, because yeah. Magic got Orlando and Milwaukee, and they just lost to Milwaukee. They just lost them. Yeah, they just lost. See, so it, it, it's crazy. Yeah, exactly. Three hundred five. Exactly, because all we again, all we need. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. We only need them lose one. Um, because well, now we put out ourselves by losing the night with the Sixers. Sixers, if Sixers mess around and, and win out, no, 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 yeah, that's right. If they lose one of these games and we win, yeah, we win both, yeah, that's right. It'd be a tie, it'll end up, be, we'd be tied. We, we win the tiebreaker, yeah. Yeah, it'll be tied. What would it be? Uh, 47 46. and 35? 46. Yeah, 47 and 35. No, 47. We have 45. Nah, we have 44 right now. 44. Yeah, we have 44 and 36 after after this oh, loss. Oh, so. 36. Okay. Yeah. 36. Yeah, yeah, I'm tripping. I I'm, I looked at the old. They didn't change it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it'll be 46 and 36 for, you know, right. for us in Philly if, if, if it works out the way that we want it to work out. Right, and then right. and we got and we got Philly's the tiebreaker got two on games Orlando. too, right? Yeah, yeah, we got the tiebreaker over Philly and Orlando. Yep. So yeah, so the, with definitely. the tiebreaker, if, if we all end up forty, what's that? Forty six and thirty six and thirty six. Yeah, we'll jump in both in head of both of them. Yep. To either the fifth seed or the sixth or the sixth seed. Yep, I think it's gonna be. The sixth seed because I think Indiana, yeah. I think yeah. Indiana, like they already got to forty six. So the worst they get is is uh, a forty six thirty six, and they got us on the tiebreaker now. So so we'll they'll always get be seed. one game. They'll get, exactly. right, they'll get fifth seed. They'll get fifth yeah. seed, and we'll get six seed. Yeah. Yep. But those scenarios will have to play out. Yep, they'll have to play out. I mean, anything could happen. Yeah. You know, you gotta anything can happen, man. Yeah, anything anything can happen. You're right. 
But my, I, I, I just, I brought that up because it was just funny. It'd just be funny, man. It'd just be funny, boy, for the haters. This, this, this motherfucker. <laughs> ah, God. That shit would be so goddamn funny, man. I ain't lying, man. That shit would be so funny. I ain't lying. He said, I hate the fact we eighth seed in such a garbage conference. Yeah. But that's what we did to ourselves, uh, Reap. We lost to the Wizards. Ain't the way in the fuck we should have lost. Who else we, we lost to quite a few games. We lost to the Chicago. We shouldn't we have lost, we to have lost to Memphis. We lost to Memphis. We shouldn't have lost. We was up 20 to what? 20 to 1, wasn't it? Yeah, Chicago. Chicago. Ain't the way in the world we should have lost to them. Mm hmm. The Memphis, yeah, that, man, there was lost. plenty of games that you know like, that we blew leads. Like we was whooping Minnesota ass when you know Minnesota was all high and mighty number one. Seed. Right. We was whooping their ass, and then we choked it in the uh, second yeah, Utah. half. Utah. Yep, we lost to Utah. Yep. We shouldn't have lost. We beat yep. them the second game, but we lost to them. Yep. Mm -hmm. We like, again, well, we let Atlanta Atlanta come back on us, and then Murray hit that you know hit that dagger. Oh yeah, hit that buzzer. Yep. Yeah. We let we beat lost to Atlanta that we shouldn't have lost. Yep. So we better than what our record saying, but we plan exactly like our record. Because yeah, yeah, <laughs> mediocre basically. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, we 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 definitely better than our record. Yeah. But we, we straight up playing like our record. Yeah, no doubt. Um, and again, the what works in our favor and why, if any yep, fan Toronto been paying got attention. One. Yep. <coughs> yep, Toronto and got one. <clears throat> if if any Heat fan been paying attention, what works in our favor is and why Heat fans should believe is because as the lower seed, your road in the playoffs is, you know, is going to be on the road. And then, and Lord, we we you know we've been a great road, road team this season. Yeah, we best on the road. We definitely a killer. So yeah, we definitely been best on the road. You know, might so be a blessing in, yeah. dis in disguise. Yeah, might be yep. a blessing in disguise. Yep. I'm a, I'm gonna say it again. Hey, Slick Rick, don't make me wait too long, man, for my two hundred, bro. I know you're listening. Or you over somebody else's stream, nigga. You got the cash yet. Send my 200, bro. Yeah, Lakers 9 seed. Yeah, they ain't got no chance. Yeah, man, they, they, man, please, fourth seed. They don't even got a chance for the fifth seed. So it's like he's oh, over no. with. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Uh, nephew Elder already paid me. Nephew Elder paid me this morning. Oh. Mm -hmm. I told him he they wasn't getting 48 games. And I told them they ain't no way in the hell they getting. I, I won three best from Elder. Yeah. The 48 games ain't getting succeed. And he he got he got bold with me. We ain't even gonna lose four straight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> we ain't even gonna lose four straight. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, slick. Yeah, slick, Rick. Yeah, you you say you got nine to ten phones, nigga. You buying? It shouldn't take you long then to to, to cash at my two hundred, nigga. I told no y'all about getting on these goddamn YouTube's bragging about all that bullshit you say you got. Then a the nigga got wait three, four, five, six days for his goddamn money. Come on, bro. Bragging about bullshit, shit that you shouldn't even be talking about anyway. But yeah, man. So I, I'm, you know, you know me. I pissed her off at school, but my money, they know me. You fuck how we plan. You want to bet it in the plan? Okay, that you all right. All right, Luz. Okay. Yeah, we're we gonna do we gonna we gonna we gonna close it out with play by play shit. Ain't no need and shit. We close if nephew wanna do it, we close it out play by play shit. Yeah, That's might it. as well. 
I, I really would like to do it over there on, on uh, playback, but I don't, I don't really know how this shit works. Like I said, I ain't got that. I ain't got NBA, uh, the NBA package. Cause you know, you know, you can literally, you, you be watching the game on, on the playback TV. And so, so in they like in they in they in they rules they say that you gotta have league pass in order to you know host yeah. the playback. Yeah, yeah, you gotta have you gotta have league pass or uh Bally South, you know, wherever okay. whatever your team is, whatever local station your team is, you gotta have that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But most most likely when it comes to basketball, because you want all the teams, all the teams, it's yeah. More, more likely, you you want the league pass, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. So, so yeah, it is a uh, say your tone slick rig blind them <laughs> was a Allah's flower straight up blind faith. Yeah, uh, Allah. Okay, Allah's. <laughs> He said blind faith. No, that that wouldn't even blind faith. Of uh, 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 faith, uh, 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 he he was just dumb. There was no faith. He was just dumb to think some goddamn Lakers, garbage ass Lakers, was gonna get some fourth seed. That there was no faith. That's just stupidity. <laughs> that was straight up stupidity. That was that was. <laughs> But uh, good game, I, no, no, it ain't no good game. That shit wasn't no good game. I ain't even gonna lie like that. That was not no fucking good game. Yeah, it definitely not, man. It was, yeah. you know, you know, I'm like, you could tell the team just had a double overtime, man. And sport ain't changed. That's that's just the shit. I, I, I don't know. I guess I better just go ahead and leave it alone, man. Because it ain't what it is, it. man. Yeah, man. He ain't gonna do nothing. Different. That dude ain't doing nothing different, man. Spo doing just what Spo gonna do. <clears throat> That's where he is. That's where he yet. That's how he is. That's how he yet. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he ain't gonna change that three hundred five, man. Yeah, he, he. It is what it is, man. So, all right, fellas, man, good job, D Masters and nephew Wisdom. We ain't even got to close out with nothing, man. We just gonna close this motherfucker out, man. Ain't even nothing we can say. But um. But the blessings of the Most High, man. The blessings of the Most High. We definitely, uh, nephew Wisdom say he he adore it. So we are gonna go ahead and play by play with with uh Toronto man. Just have some fun, close it out. It is what it is, and um we go from there. So I, y'all Friday seven thirty, but y'all know I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, y'all hit that Patreon too, man. Go to Big Tone. I mean Patreon.com man slash Big Tone Old Sports Talk, man. Uh, subscribe to my Patreon. Subscribe to Playback as well, man. So, all right, nephews. I'm just going to close it out. Man. All right, dog. We ain't even, even going to say nothing. Yeah, no doubt, man. Salute. So, see you Friday, baby. All right. Salute, guys. All right, baby. Salute, hey, everybody. Hit that like button. Hit the all right, subscribe button. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, man. And y'all know what it is, man. Look, tell your family, tell your friends, man. I appreciate each and every one for tuning in, man. Appreciate y'all. On to the next, man. <laughs> what you said 305, you ain't watching that shit. <laughs> I heard you, bro. Hit that like button, man. Hit the subscribe button, man. I appreciate each and every one for tuning in. I'm Big Tone for Big Tone Over Sports Talk. Peace.